Yeah, home minions. <laughs> Today is gonna be some the Stanley Parable. I've never played this before, so I would really like it if none of you give me any spoilers. Yeah, ho, yeah, ho. <laughs> I'm super excited to play this. Ariel got me this game for my birthday. That was supposed to be a secret, but everyone went on went on to my stream who knows my birthday and was like, "Hey, it's your birthday." <laughs> so you guys all know my birthday. Hmm. Hmm. What's game? Awesome. Welcome, welcome, Ariel. This game can last forever? No, I don't believe it. It's gotta end sometime. There are loops. I can't. Like I said, keep keep the spoilers to to absolute minimum. But if I get super stuck, I might ask for assistance. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Hmm. Oh, let's get into the game. It was weird though. The game asked me for uh, for my time. Hmm. Hmm. And is ne is never end is never end is never end. Hmm. Stanley. What? I forgot. Wait, I also forgot to do another thing. I don't want. I forgot to turn on mix it up. Ah, oh, hi, Chain. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He uh -huh. sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day. Oh, that sounds like a super fun job. Year. And although others might have considered it soul ripping, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley mm. was happy. <laughs> And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never... I got an office do. job? Let's go! He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Huh? Never in all his years at the company had this... The back groups? This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. Mm. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his <laughs> office. Well, that's some, that's some high sensitivity. You want to see what it is from one side of my mouse, see the other? Wow. There you go. I need to turn that down. That's a that's a bit high. That's no, that's a bit better. I hate Mondays. Hmm. Can't get in there. Hello. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Mm -hmm. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Hmm. Wait. Does this guy have a job where he just sharpens pencils all day? Is this this job? This guy's job? 
A 432, he only just sharpens pencils. Why? Wait, can I actually read that? Is there a zoom? Hmm. Hey, where's the meeting room? Wait, void. Hello? Hello? Hmm? Oh, there's a ladder in there! Hmm. Maybe they escaped up the ladder and they're all hiding in the ceiling. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Wait, what happens if I enter the door on the right? Is, is that bad? Um. Hmm. Cannot see. <laughs> I, 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 I'm a, I'm a good boy. I follow the rules. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's push for funding f for I plus D of your coffee machine. Yeah, F. Get Chris out of the broom closet. Wait, why? Why is Chris in the broom closet? <laughs> Hire someone. Synergize papers. Those are too synergized. Hire the paper guy. Hire somebody to fire the paper synergy guy. Who will my desk? Yeah, tomorrow. Number fifteen. Rocking food to the boss. For the thing you don't need a rocking bro. Someone food fun gas, but there's a tons of that might be what you get. Hmm. Synergize core value expenditures. Should go over market. Monetize free to play. <laughs> Wait, monetize free to play. I mean, what kind of company is this? Are you the f- what are, what are your future dreams for the future? Talk less. Do unbelievable amazing work every day with no expectations of promotion recognition. Don't get fired. Mm. Let a ball up inside of you. Take it out passive aggressive on other co-workers. Send other co-workers. Bring slides to assure employees that everything is okay. I'm sure you use slides have it. I was reading that, it's going too fast. Mm. Oh. What is hot? Target demographic teenagers. Profits, profits, profits. I can't. I wonder where the office is. Broom closet. Chris, get out of here! Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Chris, where are you? There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Hmm? It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. What? 
Is he yelling at me? Why is the narrator being mean? Are you are you really still in the broom closet? Yeah. Standing around doing nothing. Why? Because I'm I like the broom closet. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Please stop yelling at me. <laughs> He's yelling at me. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, mm. at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story. But I was looking for Chris. Camera. I never would have thought to mention it. But Chris was supposed to be in here and I was seeing what Chris was doing in the broom closet, okay? Stop yelling at me. Maybe to you, this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> your friends find this concerning. <laughs> I'm being belittled. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. Whoa! No! Whoa! No, that's a, that's uncalled for. Stanley did not deserve this. Stanley did not deserve this. Stop doing this to Stanley. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. Wait, what? You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system what? and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a huh? situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. What? What, I found my body? Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. They have what? fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's what? No, I'm the here. Term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand mm. basic first-person <laughs> video game mechanics. <laughs> and the the you know what? That's a good question. Who is this guy? Who does he think he is telling me what to do? If I want to sit in this broom closet, lost on them. I'll sit in this broom well, closet. Done that, just step out into the hallway. Is there more? No, you done, you done yelling at me? You got nothing else to say to me? That's what I thought. I'll go through. Ah, second player, it's good to have you on board. Mm. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Mm, shut up! Stop bullying. To a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. You know what? I don't like this guy. I'm gonna go the opposite direction. I can't pick it up. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Oh! Admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such oh. a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? Um. All because he believed everyone um. had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. I kind of just didn't want to do Stanley. what he said. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously <laughs> out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make mm -hmm. other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. This can't be real. He came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. Huh? I'm dreaming, he yelled. I have this no is all feet. A dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt. This he is a dream. finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers oh, I can't were keep on moving. Wrong. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, mm -hmm. he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. 
Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is minute. there a voice in my head telling everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me. I don't like about this. How it's describing my thoughts. <laughs> And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? How can Stanley he keep on talking? Right How can he keep on talking? Wake up! Wake up! Wake up, Samurai! <laughs> Wake up, Samurai! <laughs> Got work to do. Certain, beyond a doubt. That this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. I feel like I so went down the wrong again. path. And he invited himself to wake up. What? He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. Everyone close your eyes. I wish it to be over. Okay. Let me go back to my job. Let me go back Let me to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Let me continue pushing Please. the buttons. It's all I want. It's all I, I want. I want my apartment and my, my wife. Apartment. And my Wait, job. I have a wife? All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life mm -hmm. is normal. My life is normal. normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. I am okay. I am okay. Stanley began screaming. Ah! Someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Wait, why am I Mariella? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, you made dress, a square? her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man mm -hmm. who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Mm. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought... Do herself, people know what crazy people look like? But what if people are crazy and they don't... And they think other people who are crazy, but they're not crazy because they're actually sane. But the crazy people think they're crazy because they're crazy. And in a certain way... But the sane people don't know that they're crazy because they're crazy. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. Mm. She had no time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, mm. staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Wait. She ran? From the dead body? Hello? Who am I? Wait, was that an ending? Did I did I get an ending? Who am I now? Am I am I still Stanley? Hello? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? What? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. Wait. Perhaps he did I get an, a man. bad ending? What what was that a bad ending? Oh, <laughs> Hell, huh? 
lot of endings. Oh, I can't. Oh, it's one of those kind of games. Okay, 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 okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. You know what? I'm gonna be rebellious. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly mm. well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I want to see the employee lounge. Oh, look at it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. I want to stop cool, cool it all in. Mm-hmm. It has missing a stack yes, machine. Really what kind of place really has no sta stack machine? Room, a room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Mm. I like the leaf. The leaf is the nicest painting. Oh, wait, look, it's the ocean! Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected mm. poorly on his overall personality. What? It's possible that this is why everyone left. Wait! That's not why everyone left? Mm? Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long <laughs> time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Hmm. Wait, what's the message? Wait, this is a game? Wait, is there no more- is, he, is the funny voice in my head not gonna tell me anything anymore? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. It's someone dropped their file. Okay. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room mm. and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. One door on his left. Eh? But what's over here? But this place looks cool. Eh? Do not lie. If you're lying right now, stop. Eh? Behind the cool room! Look at this cool place! Was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. What? I just- I just want to look at the funny room. Mm. 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 Oh, thank you, little bro. <laughs> um. The sign has open eyes. Do not like lucky. Oh, like. Hello? Warning do not jump from the cargo lift. Thoughts in motion will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, 1,000. If you're jumping off cargo lift, 5,000. But what if I bring a box on the cargo lift? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the road. Mm, shut up! I'm not sure. Shut up, voice in my head. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, mm. but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. I don't know There's about that one. Someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Wait. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Wait, who's her? Wait, are you talking about my wife again? This is it, Stanley? Your chance to redeem yourself, to put what? your work aside, to let her back into your life. Wait, who's She's her? Waiting. Who's her? The bike, the bucket? 
Here's a bucket. Hello? Mm -hmm. ah. Wait, am I certi- Forklift certified? Oh, I'm not forklift certified. It's a nice looking forklift though. Wait, <laughs> give me a- <laughs> That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to No, her. I don't want to. If you can truly place your faith in another. I don't want to. Then pick up the phone. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. You can't make me voice in my head. You can't make me. I don't want to. I want to plug in. As Stanley picked up the phone, yeah. a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, mm -hmm. but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Yeah, I unplugged no, the phone. That wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? I unplugged you it. actually chose incorrectly. I didn't yeah. even know that was possible. Let me double check. <laughs> no, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to Wait, one another. Wait, I have Music a wife? Comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. Mm. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... What? No, that's not possible. I can't what? believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <laughs> no, I'm not. I can't no, I'm believe not. I was so mistaken. I'm this Stanley. I'm Stanley. To make correct and incorrect choices. And to I'm... think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. No. If you'd made any more wrong choices, no. you might have negated it entirely. No. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real world decision making. No. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't. <laughs> Wake up, Samurai. You're not an office worker. You hit even like. you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Mm. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Yeah. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. Choice. But if I like choices. Correctly, can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. Mm -hmm. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. <gasps> oh, that's or he so could cool. Spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? Remember mm. that unlike here, the real world makes sense, and at no time should you make mm. a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person. Oh, to that makes talk, sense. I like then provide that. an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, "My goodness." Is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back, sack, and crack. A back, sack, and crack? Okay, practicing, practicing, practicing. Excellent. Making mm. choices on a regular basis is the best That's part of a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you eight make choices? more than eight? Less? And finally, if you mm. begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, mm. just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and mm. the feeling should subside. At this time, oh. your instructor will <laughs> guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Okay, okay. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, yeah. we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago. And okay, see what okay. the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Okay, okay. I have been re-educated in how to make correct decision making. Right. 
Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the no. character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story <laughs> makes no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. What? But I don't... Huh? Okay, fine, fine, I'll go back. I'll go back. I have been re educated. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Oh. Okay, okay. Hmm. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly hmm. and always putting the story first. Okay, I'm okay. I'm sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> okay, okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> ha! Back at me! You really think I would go left? <laughs> you think I've been re-educated? <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. <laughs> Oh, it didn't let me go anywhere. He, he thought I was re-educated. <laughs> we have no choice to move on. Wait. Wait, you can open the door? Wait, I didn't know you can read open... You can't open that door. Don't, don't test me. <laughs> no, it seems like you can't open it. It is a shut door. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after oh. everything we talked about that you... My story, you've destroyed my work. Why? Mm. For what? What did you get out of that? What it's did you so think was okay. so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like it's so much okay. garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know yeah. that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase mm -hmm. that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down in time? No, wait, don't, don't really shut the game down. I still need to play it. My minutes will... What's the answer? What do I do? Ariel bought this game for me. I still need to play it. Don't shut the game down. No, I have to. I have to shut the game no, down. No, don't. I have to. We can still play. We can still play. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Huh? Oh, no. Uh-huh. Hello? Oh, I'm, I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. Uh -huh. You. Who thought you were so clever. Yeah? Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. Yeah, that's There's what you get for being mean to me. Mine and you run it into the ground. Yeah, because you what, were being mean to me. would be funny? You just had to see? Yeah? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? Well, I don't want to be he like Stanley. I want to be like Mao Tenchi. Why are you? that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. Mm. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Oh, my story. Mm, I'm not a child. I'm if a grown-up demon lord. Don't say that. Boy, 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 boy. You would I'm glad I destroyed your game. Victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to make... ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. 
That means uh. choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. Uh. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Uh. All right. Hi, Wally. When Stanley welcome, came welcome. to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Wait. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go just follow him for now. I, I got my revenge. I destroyed his game. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Wait, David, it's where I can't go downstairs anymore. I can't go downstairs anymore. What? Hmm. Wait. Hello? Hello? Why is this... H hello? Hmm? Huh? But, 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 but why is it so f nice? Hmm? The office pages. Wait, is this the boss's room? Oh, boss, are you Sitting here? Sitting inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley mm. wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Mm. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all mm. probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Uh -huh. Night Shark yeah. 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? Mm. There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw what? from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. I am the most expensive boss. Wow. What if I do nothing? Does he get mad mm -hmm. at me? Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on mm. the wall. He does feel look very full of himself. Come the most expensive. I'm sorry, is there a problem? No. You didn't mishear me, did you? No. Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Uh, do not skip a step. If you skip a step. You cannot continue doing the steps to okay, do the video fine. game. fine. You're not going to do it, but you know what? What? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. What? I asked you for this one single... Whoa! You don't have to yell at me like this. Respect. Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. Wait. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a well, choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted. I to did know. already. Why did you come this way. Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. I'm not a coward. When Stanley came to a set of two of them, Hi, employee. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Stanley? Hello? Are you... This is Are one of my co-workers. Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. The end? I need you to walk through the door. Huh. Are you listening to me? Give it a button down! <laughs> is all right? Stanley, this wait, is important. Wait, I finished the game, minions! Oh my goodness, this, this game was really short. Wow. Whatever choice you make is just <laughs> fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take Man. that forward, please. Oh. Choose. Well, I, I guess... Oh, Minions, I guess we don't have any more game to do. I guess I guess that means the game's over. Bye-bye, Minions. <laughs> do something. 
anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. <laughs> so, are you there? Are you listening to this, Danny? Are you there? I, okay. It's okay. I can wait. You need time to decide. Sorry, Leroy. Who's Leroy? Your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. <laughs> Is it so? For you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Leave Hoy Jenkins. <laughs> oh, back here. Okay. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Well, he's a bully. Yeah, All he Danny does is ever bully me if I don't go quick doors. enough. Why would I want to listen to him? Wait. Oh. Wait a minute. You're you're. I remember yours. I remember yours. You're you're the pencil sharpener. You're you're the guy who whose job is just to sharpen pencils. I remember because I, I commented on it because I was like, you know what, this guy, this guy looks like he, all he does is just sharpen pencils. <laughs> that would be a fun job. Just being a pencil sharpener. Hey, <laughs> I actually knew you. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> I was paying attention. Oh. to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Wait. I already was in the broom closet. Stanley was once again Wait stunned to discover not an indication of any human huh? life. Shocked, Wait. unraveled, Stanley wondered in Wait disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from Wait, him? why is this room different? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his huh? boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, Four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly mm -hmm. know that the combination was 2845. Mm -hmm. Two, eight, four, five. Well, what's the code? I don't know what the code is. Huh? Where's the code? Wait, I, I know the code. It's the funny number. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself. And Stanley got Did? the hell along with the story. Well, whoops. <laughs> the code was right. I got the code right. It was 6969. It was a funny number. The funny number worked. <laughs> the boss has funny password. Hello? What's back here? Darkness. Hello? <laughs> Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized mm -hmm. he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, <laughs> to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel okay, like employee when for years, four, three, two. Happened. You have a wonderful day, this okay? Would not you enjoy sharpening for pencils all. forever and ever and ever. I hope you have a wonderful life. If I don't see you ever again. Okay. Oh, I can just go back up. Whoops. Nope. Uh, never mind. Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Hmm. Silly me. 
Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. Mm. Oh, wait, it still loves it. <laughs> Oh? Oh! Wait, can I not go back down? I can't go back down? I... It was a misclick. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Uh -huh. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. Mm -hmm. It's still just exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. Yeah. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. Hey, he's being mean to me again. Storytelling that you have, an incisive Stop being mean to me. critical plot points, one after the other, Stop it. A tapestry of uncompromising I just pressed. I just well, just pressed it, okay? I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. All I saw was that there was a button and I could press it, okay? Can I just go back down now? Are you done yelling at me? Can I go back down? I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Incredible. Don't yell at me. Now he's getting back into the elevator. He's yelling at me again! Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this? <laughs> he's yelling at me! Make him stop! I didn't know this game was a boy simulator. Surely this time Stanley will walk forward into the spooky corridor, won't he? Can I keep on doing this forever and ever? Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky <laughs> corridor? No. <laughs> It's time once again to go back up in the elevator. Yeah, we're in I the rain. Look at the rain. It's the there. elevator rain. Is it the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office this time? The suspense is <laughs> Elevator simulator? You know what? That would be actually a funny game to have. It's just an elevator simulator. Well, you just simulate going up and down elevators. Oh, bum, bum. It's the boss's office. <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. Mm. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. Okay. Mm -mm Okay, I'm ready. Okay. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with... No! No, wait! No! I need more time to process. Okay. All right. I have fully come to terms with it. Okay. I have made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. As before, I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. Mm, okay. Okay, Mr. Voice in my head. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back down the elevator. Of course. Going back down mm. the elevator. How did I not anticipate I am the master it? now. I have broken him. I have broken him. He has become my minion. I have control of him. Anticipated. That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision-making is. A breath of fresh air mm. in a landscape of storytelling that has grown stale and repetitive. Okay. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> you know what? He wouldn't. <laughs> I, I want to break him even more. I want to see him cry. I want to make him break. <laughs> hmm. You know what? Mm. I just thought of something. 
Hold on, let's stop for a moment. Mm. Don't you realize? It's the anticipation, Stanley. Mm. You and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. <laughs> but the suspense, <laughs> the agony of waiting and anticipating <laughs> and having to guess, that's the real thrill. Yeah. Oh, I simply don't want to let that feeling go. It's so precious, so fleeting. Mm. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice and slow? Oh, wait, we're going up? There we go. Isn't this so much more exciting? Yeah. It seems like nowadays the only thing that audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently mm. as possible. They want big, explosive moments flung right in their faces no. from the very moment that things get started. But where's the tension? Yeah. Where's the trust in the audience to build a mm. slow and nuanced appreciation for the story, the yeah. characters? Why aren't we given time to imagine the surprises? Mm. To have to think and to anticipate and then to marvel We're at the eventual taking the slow road. This is storytelling, Stanley. Mm. What you and I are doing right now. This is the most exciting narrative to mm. be developed in years. Of course, because I'm a because genius. You. You're <laughs> the one who took this bold step of revisiting the exact same locations over and over. Truly, I mean it. Mm. This is unique and different. It's not like anything else out there. You see, of I want stories that surprise me, Stanley. I want to have to think. I want to be engaged and not pandered to. We're being fed such unimaginative drivel all the time, and we all know mm. it, which is why we're so starved for content that makes us feel sharp and vital and alive. Mm. That's why people like you so much, Stanley. Yeah, they know they love me. Right, the minions? You all love me, right? <laughs> of, you know, people look up to you. Which is why... Oh. Oh, I didn't know when to spring this on you, but, well, I've gathered a little press conference. Wait, for a you. press conference so for me? talk about your work <gasps> and your storytelling and your life. Yes, I know well, you're not much for the public. Wait, eye, already? I it would especially I, mean a lot to the people who have been following know. you from the beginning. They uh, really look up to you, Stanley. They do? I don't know if you realize... Minions, you really do look up to me? This is the kind of <gasps> gesture that might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. Oh, good, we're here. Uh, hi. Okay, the room where we're holding the press conference should be just around the corner here somewhere. Hmm. The world's healthiest human being, Altrix revealed. How we did it, the pyramids. The guy who went to the Mar to Mars. Whoa, that would be really cool to meet the person who went to Mars. All eyes on Stanley, live on stage. I made it big. I made it big, guys. I'm a big. I'm a big boy now. And ending with world peace, baby. Ah, yes. Here it is, just through this door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alive on stage. Sentient machine. All right. Are you ready? Welcome, I told me. them you're going to speak a little bit about the nature of surprise in storytelling. And what it means to craft a truly unpredictable narrative. Oh, don't worry. You'll do great. Just be yourself and speak from the heart. I'm, okay, okay. I'm really proud of you, Stanley. Okay. It looks like they're ready for you. Go get them. I know. I have a green room. I have my own putt putt. I have my own putt putt. Congratulations, Stanley. Remember where you came from. Uh. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have a child? What for showing me that c cool skateboard trick in the park? You're too cool. Good luck on stage. Rock on. Wake champ. Or boss. I love the way you ride the elevator. <laughs> Nobody tells stories the way that you do. Go get him, Tiger. Sandy. True love for you grows every day. You make me feel alive. Your wife from the apartment 
ending <laughs> hmm. Wait, can I go somewhere else? On you with the dude who came up with pizza. <laughs> I'll see you. I guess there's nothing else to do but go this way. Oh, nani, 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 nani! What's going on? Oh, my minions are here! Oh my goodness! Look at all of them! Hi, minions! Hi, minions! Oh. Oh. <laughs> all of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stay in the meeting room. Perhaps he had seen you. miss you. Tomorrow. Please come back. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. Hmm. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he come entered on, the door on his on, left. Steven, I wish I could jump so I could be yeah, hot. There was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Hmm? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could mm. its purpose be? In fact, funny this keypad number, guarded funny the terrible number, secret funny that number, lay buried below his feet. Funny and so number, the boss had assigned it an number. extra secret pin number. Wait, ain't ain't ain't? Eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. I mean, if I try all the combinations, I can probably eventually get to it. Okay, okay. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was mm. 2845. Six, 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 six. Two, eight, four, five. No, that's not the password. You're dumb. You're, you're dumb. You're dumb and smelly. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, mm. and the door just opened all by itself. Mm -hmm. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. Mm. <laughs> I'm patient. I mean, that's one of my main characteristics that I am very patient. I will bug the heck out of anyone if it makes me happy. <laughs> okay, so we we bullied him enough doing that one. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Well, we're going back up. No, no I don't want to do it again. We can go through the Mind Control Facility. What's the Mind Control... Hmm? You know what? I don't like the narrator. I want to go escape Although now. This passageway had the word escape written on it. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. I don't believe you. I don't believe you at all. 
Is it in the mind control facility? <laughs> I I believe it. I I don't trust the narrator though. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity mm. to turn around and get back on track. Mm. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward mm. and willingly confront his death. Mm. As the machine worded Hello? the motion, and Stan this? was inched closer and closer to his demise, what? it reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. <laughs> Stanley can't see the bigger picture. Wait a minute, is this is the portal factory? Trapped for wait a minute, wait a minute, no, 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 no! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just wanted to see it. It said it was an accident. Plucking the eyeballs <laughs> from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Let me out, 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 let me out. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator. As Stanley was led Wait, who are you? into the enormous metal jaws. Who are In a you? single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine huh? crushed every bone in his body. Who is she? Instantly. Wait, is this my wife? Oh. I like this person. I like this person very. And yet it would be just a few minutes mm. before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. Oh. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Mm. A Stanley parable. Oh my goodness, this room is so bright. Hello? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Oh. Nature paintings. Wow. Oh. Stanley's computers. Wait, I get to see the office layout. Wow, Stanley Museum! With two doors. Instead of two doors, that was the very first concrete piece of the Stanley's design. Once this, this room was created, the rest of the game emerged an extension of it. An exploration of the contradiction this room posed. <clears throat> wow! Oh. Oh. Button pissing. I mean, there's a war zone? We design an ending where the Stanley would end up in a battlefield fighting aliens. Action game would be. And come the setting and would wage war against the narrator. He realized shortly after starting to build it, it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people would interpret it as making fun of people who like shorters, which was not our intention. <laughs> I wouldn't care. Hello? Wait, do you. How do you make a. JRPG. How do you make the worst game ever? What's the difference between ducks? How is the game going? I hope it is as good or better as the first one. From a cool man. Are you back? Okay. 
The question is, is how do I get out of here? Hello? It's freedom asking is because they're in the beta. Hmm? Minions, I'm lost! How do I get out of here? Let's see. Stanley walked through the green door. Hello, narrator? How do I get out of here? I'm lost. I don't know how to get out of here. You know what? <laughs> it's a very dark room where I came from. I'm pretty sure I came from this way. Oh, wait, I found it. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How mm -hmm. they both wish to be free. Oh. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? We need each other? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save those two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Huh? Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. Push escape? Press quit? As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Huh? Now it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't <laughs> oh wait oh wait I do have to press it <laughs> this is the story of a man named Stanley okay Mr. Narrator Stanley worked for a company I need mean, to tell that okay. all of his co-workers were gone what could it mean? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Whoa, the meeting room. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Speed run. Yet there was not a I wonder if there's like a speed run that. record. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked <laughs> upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, I wonder if the it's any different if I. Manager's office. Stanley if I froze in his tracks. What was it? Two, four, eight, five. Could he really be all alone? This mm. was too much for Stanley to take. Too much for any man to take. He fell to his knees. Bursting into half moans, what? half sobs, the guttural wrecking what? of life from a man denied any hope, any reason to keep going. Here what? on the floor, he lay prone, 
paralyzed by fear for nearly a full hour. Huh? But when at last he began to move about Three, and survey four, the situation, Three, four, he found a keypad behind the boss's desk. Three, four, what five. could it mean? Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. <laughs> that kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so hmm. he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Oh, okay. Hello? Mind Control Time. <clears throat> the lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible oh, secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength mm. to find out? Of course they do. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Oh. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Oh, one Stanley of them was five. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Where am I? I'm like... Somewhere over there. Hmm. This mind control mm. facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. No. Why would people control people's minds? Control I would never do anything was like that. Why do minions have free, free will? But his emotions had been manipulated to accept mm. it blindly. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Blind. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, mm -hmm. walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over mm -hmm. another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Or... Wait, why can't I press it? Why can't I press it on? Hmm? I can't go over up there. Hmm. Hello? What's the funny swing red room? Where? Wait a minute, I think I know what I have to do. There's five. Is there a one? Wait, is this a puzzle? 
I love puzzles. Thank you. So one, two, where's three? Oh, three, where are you? That's fire. One, two, three. Hmm. Where is four? I found five. Four, where are you? Oh, four. Four, where are you? Where are you, four? Oh, we know it's up here. I mean, how do I get up to four? Wait, can I not go on the four? No! Okay, have to wait. Analyzing input. Wow. Awaiting input. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this <laughs> horrible place and to everything it's to put an end to it. <laughs> nope. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, mm -hmm. did you? After they kept you enslaved all these mm -hmm. years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Mm -hmm. Is that what you want? Control? No. Oh, Stanley, <laughs> I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. Mm. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do, for example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation no. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are said to explode. <laughs> <laughs> It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this okay. is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments oh. until the bomb goes off. But okay, okay, so one, moment, two. Each one of them is. More time to talk about. You know something? About me. <laughs> I'm trying to press oh, buttons. Means I barely know where to start. Wait, and then we go up to four? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? No. no. A moment of solace before you're obliterated? Mm. Alright, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll four? tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. You erased of course, them? That was merely in this instance of Wait the story. a minute. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons mm. endlessly and then dying alone. Hey, Other that's times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever mm -hmm. I come up with on the next go-around will be yeah. even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. Wait a minute. I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? Okay, These okay. Thank you. Thank you for the extra time. Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Um. Oh, dear me. What's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? What? Or 
did you just assume when you saw that? <gasps> oh. Time, that something in this room was capable of turning it off. Yeah, I, I can turn it off. I can turn it off. Don't, 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 don't rush me. Don't rush me. They're rushing, they're rushing me. They're rushing me. They're rushing me. Clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, mm. anything. Something here will save me. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Standing. That this video game can be beaten. One mm. solved. Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? Fire? <laughs> Stanley. Fire? You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That time Fire? isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. Fire? It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment yeah. that you're powerless. To see you made humble. Wait, do I have this to press the, the, the purple face? It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. Mm. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you mm. can't. Green five? Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you what? have left to struggle. No! 30 seconds until no! a big boom and then nothing. No, don't do it! Just you I can do it. it! I can. I'm a good boy, I can you figure out the puzzle! No, let me have more time! Another choice? Make it count. Oh, don't. It's all the same. No, don't! Don't explode! Don't explode! And don't explode! Me, don't explode! Don't explode! I'll be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we. No, don't explode! Until the I say happily ever No, it exploded! <laughs> no! <laughs> Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. Oh. Hi, Shimmy. Shimmy, I'm calling you Shimmy. Hi, Shimmy. Welcome, welcome. Go? Huh? Huh? New content. Oh, new content. Oh, new content? Yeah. What does that mean, new content? Oh. New content? Hello? It's, it's the, what's the new content? Wait, are we going into the Black Mesa facility? Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh. As you may know, the Welcome. Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. Oh. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Whoa. Ultra Deluxe. Wait, this came out in 2022? For consoles and home computers. Oh. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Whoa. Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Oh. Please. Step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Ah, Ducky Ducky. Ducky Ducky. I'm very excited to see the ducky, thrilling ducky. new Ultra Deluxe content. Ducky Ducky. What's the new content? Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special ducky, yet, ducky, but I'm ducky, sure ducky, it's just ducky, the beginning ducky, of a ducky, mesmerizing ducky. adventure. Nah. Ducky Ducky. Um, Duh. is it broken? Huh? What's going on here? Huh? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, there Hello? we go. Oh, oh right. there you go. It's moving. It's moving. It's moving. Last, it's on to the new content. New content. I've never been more ready. <laughs> Let's do it. I am so excited to narrate it. Waka waka. Waka waka. Waka waka. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Mostly tedious. It's as if the Hey, don't oh, don't pad my Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Give me the content. <laughs> Hello? No. The jump circle? Oh. All right. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. <gasps> 
We can jump! He is on my side. We can jump. <gasps> we can jump. We can jump. Oh my goodness, it's so cool. Jump, jump, jump. We can only jump in the circle. Can't jump anymore. Oh, mm. is, is that it? That sure, was amazing that's not content. Content. There has to be something else, right? Yeah, it has to be else. That was so amazing. I've never jumped before. Another elevator. Look, look, Finally, look, I have look, to look. Say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. Mm. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? Yeah, this is exciting. Is new Do you not Can know what you exciting new content is? Hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Whoa. Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yeah. Oh, I knew it. there had to be something else. I got it. it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Oh. It's over here. <gasps> we did it! That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You we see, did Stanley? it, the new content! <laughs> Minions, we did it! Developers with no respect for me, their we did it, Russia's if you're still here. To also, thank for you for no coming reason by. Other than to make an easy <laughs> dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance mm. department signed off on this? Whoa, stop making fun of the link. They're afraid, trying their best. I, I intend to find these people on Twitter. On Twitter? Personally accountable. We don't cancel them on Twitter. <sighs> they're old, they're, they're, they're trying their best, okay? Around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. Mm -hmm. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game? No. And we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. No frills. No gimmicks. Just but... you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? You're not my friend. Don't. Oh. What? Wait a minute. Where am I? Uh. Wait a minute. This doesn't look like. This doesn't look like Kansas anymore. Hey, where's? Where am I? Who are you? Where am I? Oh, psst. Stanley, oh. come over here. In the vent. I want to show you something. Uh, vent. He wants me to become a sussy baka. I don't I don't know if I want to become a sussy baka. I don't I don't know about that. Okay. Who are you? Okay, time to become a sussy banker. Coffee nut and a screwdriver. Hello? Ducky, 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 ducky. Hello? Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Yeah. It got me thinking about the past, and how much better the Stanley mm. Parable used to be. Mm. So I made something special, and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Oh. Just our little secret. Take a okay, look. Okay, 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 okay. Where is it? Am I gonna be... Do I still have to be a sussy baka? Oh! 
Is this the outside? I call it the memory zone. It's uh. where I've been storing all my favorite uh. memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life oh, whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Uh. It's so, so beautiful. Memory zone. Don't forget. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful uh, Stanley was before it was solid with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October mm. of 2013, when the game originally launched? No. Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Never oh, forget. Oh my goodness, I remember clocks like this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my fair <favorite> kiss. <laughs> Where the gadgets took over? <laughs> Lisa of Stanley Parable of 2003. <laughs> that when you feel scared <laughs> or forget the times when you feel the happy. When day is dark, always remember Stanley Parable. We always use the packaging. That actually looks kind of bad for packaging, not gonna lie. 2014 Independent Games Festival. Oh! Hey, what is this? The British Academy of Film and, and Television Arts. What it do? Stanley Parable. Wait a minute, I can see what it says. It says for the last of us. <laughs> Smile because it happened. Alpha test. Trip down memory. A dollar. It's impossible to get this achievement. Wait, is that an actually an achievement? Wait, wait, if you have this game for five years, do you actually get that achievement? Oh. <clears throat> the impure game. Story. Down to Earth. Wow. Hello? Je suis dans la and over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning Whoa. triumph of games journalism, 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Destructoid. Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than mm. any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every mm. game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand mm. and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was really? every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. <laughs> Wait now, a minute. Can nothing. you see those titles? It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Wait. It is hours of elevator content?
Can I not go in the maintenance? Fine. Mmm. Okay, it's buttons. I want to press the buttons. <laughs> no. Here's another mm -hmm. moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parables <laughs> is both a richly <laughs> stimulating commentary on the nature textures. of choice in games, and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Mm. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. Wait. It just needed to be. Is this alone. what they use? They just to use source the SDK. Wait. In the Wait, hall. no. Wait a minute. Is there a source SDK? And you can just use in Unity? Wait, no way. No way. You're lying to me. You're lying to me. You can't tell me that there's a source SDK. Where is Asti? Huh? Can we have to be here? Okay. What? <laughs> Wait, there's a 2022? Wow. Huh. Wow. Ah. video game memories. Hmm. Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, mm. hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? Mm. What's down here? What is down here? Uh, hello? Oh no. Oh god no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. Mm. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Wait, <laughs> what what do they say about the original Stanley Parable? Wait a minute. God, Steam reviews. Good thing I have this open. Okay, the Stanley Parable. Yeah, let's let's go. Let's go right here. Let's just. Let's just let's just go look real quick. <laughs> the Stanley Parable. Oh, they're all positive reports. What? Wow, too boring, too repetitive to bother. I'll never get back. Wait, I want to see, like, the negative reviews. Um, what do you type? Negative. There it is. See, they give some of this game. It's for the people who like to filter the negative reviews and just play the dead. <laughs> Wait, I just wanted to see the negative reviews. Don't. <laughs> this game is fantastic. <laughs> I like that one. Mm. Oh. <laughs> it must be a 
something that was drawing on and on isn't fun. I have to stop doing anything with them. Stop explanations. Mm. Show the skip button. Well, I think bad reviews, all right, is the best. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, back to the game. <laughs> Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Mm. I wonder if I see any of the reviews. Wait. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. Oh. The narrator is obnoxious and un <laughs> with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Mm. <laughs> funny. 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 I'm trying to make a serious work of art. Wait. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a dense minions. Game I just realized something. Philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I. Minions. I just realized something. Okay. 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 Me and Mike went on a tangent one day. We were really bored, or I don't know how it happened. We ended up watching, um, the uh. Um, Thomas the Train Engine. I don't remember why we were watching Thomas the Train Engine, but we were watching the old Thomas the Train Engine. And I swear, I think this is the same narrator. I swear it's the same narrator as the Thomas the Train Engine. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Thomas. Thomas. Wait, I think I want to spell that. Wait, yeah, it's a miss. In an engine. Mm. All episodes. Hmm. I swear it is. I think it is. I want to check for a second. No, I, I, I swear. Mm. <laughs> this opening is just so dumb. Thomas is a tank engine. Who lives at a big station on the island of Sodor. Okay, never mind, never mind, it's engine, not. With six small wheels, a short stumpy funnel, a short okay, stumpy Okay, never mind. I was... I was... I was wrong. Different narrative. Wait, I think it's one of the newer it's a ones. fussy little engine too. Always pulling coaches about Wait. ready for the big engines to take on long um, journeys. Season 2. You know. Was it the season two one? <laughs> Get the funny faces. <laughs> At the bridge, Bluebell was very pleased to see her calf again, and the porter led them away. Okay. I could have swore it was the same one. I could have swore. I could have swore it was the same one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Steam reviews. Okay, okay, okay. Taki, taki. Hello? Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, mm, 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 for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Mm. Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You are very you preachy. Tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you mm. can. Yeah, you're pretty preachy. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. Terse? What does terse mean? Fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it, well, I always thought it did. 
but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. Mm. What an awful memory to have to hold Does on to. Does it sound more like Mike? Black marks on my otherwise no, I don't think it sounds like record. Mike. I feel... Wait. No, I can't call Mike. Mike's not online. <laughs> like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Hmm. Hmm. Hello? What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with <gasps> long-winded explanations. Of I just read this one! I read this one! I actually read this one! We actually went back and saw that one. too preachy then. Then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment surely it <laughs> Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. A skip button? Oh. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a sh- Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice. Please. <laughs> well, there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, mm. it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will say about this, and whether they'll edit the rating of their Steam review. Mm. I wonder if they actually got, the they contacted the guy and was honest, like, yo, can you, can you change your review, review? I guess I should become better educated on exactly how Steam works. Perhaps mm. that would have been the smart thing to check on before... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 Wait, minutes. Wait, 30 to 45 it's minutes? It's durable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. Okay, I'm not going to press the button. The button has been aptly demonstrated, and we can say goodbye to it and just, wait. How do we get out of here? Where did mm -hmm. the door go? Wasn't there a door that led to the Wait, where's the door go? I don't feel quite certain that there was yes? one here before. How else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? I don't think one can enter a room without a door of some sort or a mm. window or something like that. Do you see a window anywhere? Is this an a actual working room? clock? A sufficiently large crack in the wall? I'll take any of these. All I want is for us to move on and to please press the button again. The skip button to go anywhere other than the skip button. There was a door here before, wasn't there? I swear there was. Where did it go? Can you maybe hmm. just ram your way through a wall? Ram through. Is there any possibility okay. that you could say Which ram button? your body into the wall until enough damage is done for you to be able to leave? Please, hmm. I'll take any option at all. Okay. I'm asking you to work with me here. I we need a door. We need a door, need a door. of some kind. I can work <laughs> with any kind of door as long as it can open and lead from one room to another. I'm I'm going to step away for just a moment, and I'm going to try to find us a door. I don't know how okay. exactly to remove a door and place it can it stand by any door, time. But I will find a way, I promise. Has it already? You just need to not do anything. <laughs> don't press the skip button. Please, Wait, but he said not to press please it. Please do not press the skip button. Okay, I'm not going to press Wait it. Wait here. Okay. Wait here for me. I'm waiting. And don't press the skip button. Not pressing the skip button. Yes, good. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. He's gonna find us a door, minions. We're gonna be able to get out. You know what, baby crab? You know what, baby crab? You're right. Why would I listen to him? Stanley! Stanley! <clears throat> Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. 12 hours? You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. 
Mm. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls. I wonder if you time. waited for 12 and hours, he would no actually door. start saying things there's again. There's no door. There's just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no idea how long I'll be made to sit here. And more than anything else, I don't know how mm. to stop you from pressing the button again. <laughs> Going back to the I future. I can't control <laughs> anything in this room, Stanley. I can't touch it. And I have to believe. I have to know that sooner or later, no matter how much I plead mm -hmm. with you, you're going to press the button again. Why would you? I've been thinking. Look at this thinking, nice texture. I, I don't know what I can do to convince you otherwise. Oh, I oh, found the scene. And it's all because of those reviews. Those reviews that I couldn't get out of my head. I just mm. couldn't ignore the negative feedback. Why was it so important for oh. me to fix the problem? You know, they should Why have probably rotated this pipe around so the other way. I've never even met Oh, so that you don't no see the scene. Who they are. Should have put the scene back here. Matter, but here I am. I'm Unless there's, it's double-sided. Anyone ever says about me the merest mention of one of my imperfections, and I become as impetulant as a child. <laughs> you Why? know what? <laughs> I can't help myself. I can't stop myself from how many all coins for a subway sandwich. To change and to break anything <gasps> I should make a sandwich. Pleases this one person who made a single negative comment. Oh, a sandwich would be such cool. An impulse serve. But whose benefit is it? Wait, how, is he still Here talking? I, I kind of. <laughs> okay, I really hope Mike isn't listening. So a lot of times when Mike talks. <laughs> he rambles on for a bit sometimes, I had the power to prevent it all from and I end up just like tuning him out. My tongue. It's all out of my control now. Just you, just <laughs> your decision. And I just tune him out, so I can't hear him anywhere. Suffer to leave me all alone. Surely you will. I don't doubt it. Surely you'll press that button again, mm. leaving me. Here. So yeah, I just kind of do them out. Own desire to see what's next ahead of my need for company. Wait, for no. Companionship. I don't Surely tune everyone out. By my howls of fitful anxiety that you sit with me and just stay here. Oh no no no! I <laughs> will. You'll be leaving me. Oh my God! And it's all because of those reviews. Skip. Oh Stanley, you're back. You're what? back. Oh my goodness, I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I... A plan. A week. Well, two weeks? I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. Wait, the lights are broken. That that's just how it's always been. Wow. Me talking and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't mm. that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it isn't, Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Mm. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing. Yeah, these lights aren't very optimized, are they? they? I needed to know that someone was Jeez, what are these light bulbs made out of? Vessel through which my words were moving. It was the vessel I needed, Stanley. Not the outcomes, not the story. None of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. I'll give up every brunching path. I'll burn my story to the ground. One mm. single thing I need, what? and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything, is to know that someone else is taking it in. These words that I'm That's... saying, I need to know you can hear me. Because maybe, mm. Stanley, maybe, if you can hear me... I actually really like these plant maybe, leaf textures. It means I'm real. They actually look really nice. Maybe I'm not just a fiction. Mm. Was I scared of that all along? But the tree yeah. looks like it could use some more texturing Perhaps to it. It looks like it's just kind of bland compared to the leaf texture. The silence and and this pot that. could look, use a little bit I more. I can't weight. be taken by it, Stanley. I can't lose myself in the stretch of emptiness between you and oh, me. Oh, this fencing when is the same texture as the uh, piping. Right there, you just I reused it. You're so tremendously far away. And in those moments, the emptiness folds itself outward mm. in between the two of us. And I am suspended yeah. in its unyielding quietness. I can feel the edges of my reality curdling inward and decaying. Mm. I can tell that I am becoming less... It's dark in here. I want to get out of the dark room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. Mm. I've had so much time i stopped keeping track after a year have you ever sat down in one place mm. and not moved for one entire year Let yeah me i have it for you to begin with there is only regret 
There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I That's shall see nothing at all but regret for the Does this wall texture repeat? I think it does, like in months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest mm. longing to undo the past. And when that feeling Let's see if I can find the scene. What took its place is what I can only describe okay, as there's the that crack. Of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. Okay, there's that crack all again. So that crack has like those spikes. A single instant. In that instant. Oh, it does repeat. Clearly, calmly, with a So there's that and then there's the crack. It was an impossibly rich wellspring of both the Is that in the crack? Okay, so it's about I was consumed by it. I could do nothing but wallow in it for what felt like an eternity. For what but I to be honest, you can't really tell us repeating see, it unless you look at it and then you can really see it. it was so that's one square. That's one square. And then that one square is kind of cut off. Huh, it was that's interesting. Entirely from the question of free will. This is one of the things I like to look at in video not? games. There Just like all no the one ending, like the no textures. Textures are very interesting, interesting in video games. In same moment, and I felt is this is why I felt unburdened by the need hmm. to manifest a particular outcome into being. Shut up! I'm trying to monologue here. You can't over monologue me. <laughs> Hello? Hello? You think he's dead? Hello, fire alarm? Hmm. Oh, the bad fire alarm battery's out. So it's been a couple years. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. Mm. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed mm. their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't mm. enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their mm. pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much. They said, first, he didn't entertain mm. us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. <laughs> it's the unwilling to examine with an uncompromising heart mm. the words that they are speaking into the world. As though there were no consequences for a lack of cohesion in one's assessment of others. But of course, absolutely anyone can leave a review. Mm. So here's what we get. We get these demands that seek mm. everything and are accountable to nothing. Mm. We get a world where someone will say, Oh, mm. there should be a skip button. You should be mm. able to freeze Stanley in place while mm. the narrator sits there forever and ever. Mm. We want all of this in the new Stanley parable. Mm. We demand it. And then, mm. because it was said, because it was spoken, mm. now it simply has to happen. Mm. The most immediate desires, hmm. every single thing demanded by every okay. person. Okay, after you speaking. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you know, this joke was probably funny, like, like five minutes ago, but. <laughs> The end is never 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 the end it's never the end, 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 it's never the end. Is this resting? <laughs> Hello? A <The> content? <laughs> Hello? 
Hello, Portal 2? <laughs> okay. Oh, it's light! Does this mean we can get out? We grab the ladder, grab the ladder, and then we can escape. Eh, 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 eh. I can't grab the ladder. Mm. My goodness, look at these plans, they're so cute. Mm, so those, those are some s little bushes. Wait. Oh my goodness, they're just pictures! Look at that, they're just actual pictures and they just cut it out. I mean, are they double-sided? They are double-sided! Ah. Oh, so cool! Ninja <laughs> has reclaimed the land. <laughs> Oh. The plants are dead. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Anybody out there? Oi! Oi! I've been stuck in a time loop of perpetual motion. Frozen in time forever and ever. Anyone out there? Save me! Oi! Am I free? Uh, it's so bright! <laughs> Hello? 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 Is this the Middle East? Hello? Where, where do I... Where do I go? Wait, if it was the end of the time... <laughs> Is there something over there? Sitting there, Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Oh. Days? <laughs> Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be mm. more careful with time from now on. Oh. Okay. <laughs> There's new, new content! Oh my goodness, oh, new, good. new. You notice my sign. Yes, I have something very oh, exciting to show you. Ducky, ducky. Ducky, ducky. But it's a new, new content. He wouldn't lie to me, would you? Hello? You would never lie to me. You see, Stanley, Doki Doki. I've been reflecting on the Stanley Doki Doki. Doki. and about how Doki Doki. roundly disappointing this ultra Doki deluxe Doki. version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, <laughs> and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. 
So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. <gasps> Stanley Parable 2! <gasps> yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release oh of the two goodness. minor editions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel. Oh my sequel. goodness, a new sequel? An new experience built from the ground up. Oh my Why goodness. There's so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been Mwah. asking for. Whoa. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier One game, than Ultra two. Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? Mm. But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right mm. there. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation Whoa. and long-term franchising potential. Wow, so excited. Ducky, 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 ducky. Hello, hello. Where is it to? New content is out. New content part two is in. Blank section. Wow, well, cool red section. Wow. More TSP. What's, wait, what's TSP? Team sport position. Um, time support. Oh! Yeah, that's what the game's called. Yeah. <laughs> Here comes it. Oh. Wait, there's a pinky. Wait, where's the pinky? Where's the pinky? I didn't see no pinky. Wait, where's the pinky? Pinky, where are you? That's not a pinky. Pinky? <laughs> the a wait. Mm. Oh brother, my brain explodes. I don't. I won't get it. You now lied to, to me. Clear, I thought I there was a pinky. I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable Two is going to be, hmm. but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts that surely the game will sort of naturally mm. spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Mm. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, mm. really. That's what you had a show for. Wait. <laughs> Wait, what? Sequels are good. Portal 2, Half-Life 2, Batman, Arkham Asylum 2, Divinity Original Sin 2, Aladdin 2, Return of Jeff Fire, Dark Souls 2, Doom 2. Hmm. Wait, they forgot how, um, Left 4 Dead 2. They forgot Left 4 Dead 2! 
Wait. Wait. Wait, is it, um, Doom 2? Wait, is that not a thing? Hmm? Wait, Doom 2 does exist? Okay. It just has a weird, like, ring to it. Ah. Uh. Hello? Can I get on the bus to the new content? Whoa. Hello. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Well, I can't. That says the name of the game that the player is playing the game. What? The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Whoa! Is it? Stanley Parable 2, I myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. Oh. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the mm. game. Isn't that wonderful? Okay. Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the mm -hmm. name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, what? let's have you role play as Jim to But really I don't want to role play as Jim. This feature. Just play along. I promise you're what? right. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget oh, who okay. you are, and simply become a okay. person named Jim. Oh, I want you to imagine okay. yourself living as Jim. Sleeping okay. and waking as Jim. Okay. Falling in love and being okay. heartbroken as Jim. Seizing uh, all of the world's possibilities as Jim. Uh, and as Jim, watching your dreams mm, crumble into dust. Uh, Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, yeah. truly Jim right now? If so, I am then Jim. please step forward and press the button. I am Jim. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jim. I I am I'm a VTuber. I am. My name is Jim. I am the a Jim VTuber. Jim. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see. Whoa. What a rush! That was you. The button described you. Do it again. Do it again. <gasps> it's it's saying my name. Oh my goodness! This is so amazing. <gasps> Jim. It oh my goodness, this is so great! Time, what a fun! Oh my goodness, how does it know that my name is Jim? It still be worth the money. Oh my goodness! Let's take a break from the Jim button. I'm too emotionally <sighs> drained from all of this personal validation. Oh, you're right. This is exhausting. But I want to keep on pressing it though. No, <sighs> there. Oh. a person can be too much, Jim. No, there's no such I thing. I, I am a Jim. No, 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 no. Give me the button back. I am Jim. I guess I'm not Jim anymore. Wait. If I'm not Jim, who am I? Huh? I'm all Tenchi, I'm a demon lord. Oh yeah, that's right. Whoa, I was scary for a second. I almost thought it was Jim. Whoa. Phew. That was a scary thing. Cookie. I suppose I could allow nom, 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 to play nom, the Stanley nom, 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 too. Nom, nom. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh, 
wait, Mike's online. We can go test something. <laughs> we can check out the bucket in a second. <laughs> okay, Mike, say something. Something. <laughs> See, he doesn't sound like the narrator. What are you guys talking about? He doesn't sound like the narrator at all. I have to even log on to Twitch. I wasn't even there to be able to know what's going on. Don't worry, Mike. You don't need to know what's going on. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm not Jim anymore. I've recovered my senses. I'm not Jim. <laughs> I finally realized that he made a mistake, and now the narrator is going away. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe it does sound like it occasionally. Okay, maybe just a little bit. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> maybe just a little bit. <laughs> Wait, which one? Where is the bucket? Is this the bucket? This is the bucket. Okay, okay. This is the bucket. <laughs> A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. Mm. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, mm. I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. Okay. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. <gasps> a it reassurance bucket? Every time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease <sighs> will fill your mind and your heart. <sighs> as long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting <sighs> contradictions of the Stanley Parable <sighs> will feel perfectly normal and perhaps... <sighs> You may even oh come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive... Give me the bucket right now! Give me a... Uh, give, give me the bucket! 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 So beautiful! Oh my goodness! Come on, give it a try. It's so beautiful! Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing oh. despair, must already be sweeping through oh. your body. And in fact, it feels so can I good. say that I do believe the bucket lends oh. you an air of charisma as well? I <laughs> yeah, I feel, it has made I feel you great. the slightest bit more attractive as a person. I mean, The benefits of the yeah. bucket seem to have fallen on, don't they? Oh. All this and more await you oh. in the Stanley Parable too. Oh. This bucket's amazing. Wait, can I take the... Take the bucket. I'm taking the bucket! It can't stop me from taking the bucket! This is my bucket now. Ah. I'm taking this bucket with me. It's mine forever. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a oh. video game? Huh. That really should be an award. It should it be an award. award. This is amazing. I've never held a bucket and felt so calm and relaxed before. This is amazing. This is the most amazing bucket ever. Like, I've seen so many buckets before. Like in Minecraft, in other video games. But like, this bucket. This bucket. It's amazing. Oh. Thank goodness. Oh. New, new and easy achievements? Oh. These are screenshots. What's in here? Wait, what's up here? That's neat. Hello? What's here? Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I hmm. think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, oh. like balloons. But I'm undecided balloons. on get well someday 
and happy 12th birthday. Which would you go with? Hmm. This is a hard choice. This is a super hard choice. Hmm. Like... Um... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, happy 12th birthday, is super nice. The piece. All right, get well someday, balloon. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> One of my moderators, you put up a vote. Put up a vote, and then we'll have you decide on it. <laughs> Democracy. We have a get well someday or a happy 12th birthday step niece. No, we can't ban train. <laughs> Wait. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, baby crap, you're not gonna make it? <laughs> I'm excited to see what my minions choose. No! Wait, no, you get back in there! <laughs> no, you get back in there, you can't retire! I never said that you could retire! You didn't even proper put in the proper paperwork yet! You can't do that! You have to fry it, have to... There you go! Can't retire, no retiring. Hmm. Wait. Ducky, 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 ducky. Minions vote. War. Ducky, ducky. What will the vote be? I wonder, does the does the bucket get the vote? Minions, can the bucket vote? <laughs> this scared. You don't want to break the rules. Breaking the rules is bad. The bucket can vote infinitely. <laughs> Mm. You are a scheme. Mm. Oh no, it's tied. Who will be the tying the 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 person who? Oh, wait, the bucket gets to choose. The bucket has put in its opinion. Doki doki. <gasps> okay. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes mm. you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy 12th birthday, step niece, it is. At least I have a calming bucket. <laughs> Or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Mm. Wait, there's another jump circle? Wait, where's the jump circle at? Collectibles. Wait, there's collectibles? Collect 
collectibles. Hey, excuse, excuse me? Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, um. you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative well, but... is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. What? I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. What? You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable no, life. But... Does that mean there's more of them? God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. <gasps> Wait, it's a new jump circle. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's... Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. No! Mm. Oh, well. Wait, I got a first. I got an achievement. Nice decorative piece, then. No, I can't jump anymore. Go into the hall. Oi, I will go in the hall. Nothing in the surrounding area. Infinite hole chart. Falling. Infinity? Space? Science? More? More hole? Hole. Oh, that was very inf informative. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. Mm. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Mm. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Uh, uh, what? I don't, I don't know if I want to go in the falling the infinite hole. Is it, is it safe? Oh, it's cool. I like it. At least I have my bucket see, with me. Isn't it wonderful? One of my more uh, ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite <laughs> hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Hmm. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do Whoa. recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later hmm. spectrum of things. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite hmm. how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, hmm. very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extreme. Oh, baby crab, unfortunately that's the wrong that isn't an That's the wrong form. You have to to is fill out the infinite? form well, five two depends on three point one from one two B. You filled out the in nature. Um, it's more of a member retirement agreement okay. form. Which well, is the wrong one. Good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. Wait. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a what? cheat, and you're so clever. Look, what? I think the issue here is just that you're unusually There's cigarette butts. by falling. Ew. One person actually wants to fall infinitely. I figured the hole was as deep as yeah. anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe mm. you're the problem. Wait, I'm not the problem. <sighs> hey, talk to the bucket. Uh, talk to the bucket. There. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the whole mostly infinite? It's not if mostly it infinite. Now, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Mm. Hello? 
Hmm? Oh my goodness, I can see the little dot on the top. Will you get mad if I stay in the hole? Great. Now, I'm very excited. Oh, for heaven. <laughs> I was right. The problem is you. Wait, the problem no. is that you like holes too much. Not normal. Mm. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, mm. no, no, no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I oh, it did look short. Like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, mm. I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose mm. once again, there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button. But I love the hole. Look how cool the hole is. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. Gosh. How could I have guessed? Hmm. You're back in the hole. If yeah, because our hole is cool. Wow. Okay. Yes. We back up. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, mm. but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. Mm. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep. Even by the lax overall standards for accountability. Man, and this guy really What's needs a, a super comfort, Stanley, a comfort no bubble bubble for the uncertain bucket. nature of the hole's length. Yeah, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. The shame of my... How is this still appealing to you? <laughs> I know you're obsessed with holes, but at mm. this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You mm. just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. Is the, um, teleport button... Yeah, the button? teleporter button's broken, sure? but I'm calm because I have I the mean, calming bucket. I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Try it again. Wait. Still nothing? Well, I suppose... I, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. Mm. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. Wait, you no, come back! Wait, come hole. back! No, leave now me! You'll get more time with it than you could ever Wait, no, come back! It's a win for everyone. Wait, no! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just want to go in a hole. Take care, Stanley. Please, please don't leave me. Don't leave me. Wait, no! No, come back! Come back! No! Oh? You're just lucky that I don't have arms and I can just hold that. I'm holding this bucket. We know it's falling. Nani. Nani, Nani, what's going on? Hello? Bucket? Bucket! Just keep on looking at the bucket, just keep on looking at the bucket, just keep on looking at the bucket. Keep on looking at the bucket. Keep on looking at the bucket. Wait, is that what I look like? Wait, why is the bucket on the ground? Bum, 
I don't like this one. Oh, this one's nice. I like this one. Sort of dozed off there, drifting away into green. Oh. But we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake mm. for every second. It was all a dream. I don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really truly focused on oh, the okay. hole? From the looks of things, you and I will have many many years here in this hole, and I'm looking forward to all of them. Mm. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. Toodle pip. Hello? The end is never 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 the end Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Office decorations. Oh, you did that. I oh, got the reassurance bucket. Button that says the player's name. Infinite thing. Oh, I haven't done the achievements yet. <laughs> Achievements. Pull the lever, receive your new achievements. No more steps! <gasps> oh my goodness! Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in mm. the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and oh. when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Oh! Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Mm -hmm. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee mm, it will Give me the achievement! To at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously mm. demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. Give it to me! Insurance bucket and everything. Should be insurance that I can get the achievement. Okay. Dumb achievement. What's over here? No, I'm just a tech.
What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? That's a good question. Let's see. Okay. We've seen the mage. Oh, we haven't seen the sentinel. Sitting without champion. Off a epilogue. Like the walls. Exit. Oh, epilogue. Okay. Okay, okay. Wait. Hmm? <laughs> Bankruptcy. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Unfortunately, baby crab, you f that is indeed the correct form. Unfortunately, you have to get it um signed by at least um four other generals before it will be uh, able to be submitted. <laughs> oh, I see. Hmm. Okay. What's down here? An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Mm. Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the, um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Is that it? Oh. Me too. Mm. That is all, and then you can submit it to me. Uh, let's see, where's the exit? Because I think we got it. We saw everything. We saw the merge, we saw... Sitting World Champion. Oh, it's this way. Wait. That was fun. I'm so excited for Stanley Parable right. too. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? No. No mic. No screenshots. Oh, I can't. So, Stanley, what do you think? Mm. Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how mm. exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video mm. game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's I can feel it too. Work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Mm. Say, let's do an experiment. Especially with this reassurance bucket. these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful mm. gameplay experience. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here it is. Mm. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Whoa, look at it. Ugh. Um, Wait. well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort Wait, of... Wait, give me down there. I want to go in the jumping circle. Hold on. 
Let me do it. I want to get in the jumping circle. Okay. Yes. Yes. This is much better. Let me go down the jumping circle. Here we go. Version two. <sighs> Why wow, it's so oh, cool gosh, looking? Family. This isn't. I mean, why is the bucket so high up? At all. It's a lot of gags, and I do very much enjoy creating gags, but mm -hmm. they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic Yachty. of the first game. I wanted fans to love it, no matter mm. how good these gags are. They won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. This, of course, with respect, with care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could. No. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Do. Let me see if I can whip something up. Okay, okay. All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Okay, walk, walk. Oh my goodness, it's so cool. Look at it. Sammy Parable 2. I don't, but I don't think I finished one yet. Sequel. Man. I didn't think I got two games. Oh, walk, 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 walk. It's like playing two. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big oh. where he was employee number 427. Mm. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and mm. he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders mm, came to him that seems pretty familiar. Telling him what buttons to push, mm. how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 mm. did every day of every mm. month of every year. Mm. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came. Mm. As though he had been made exactly This looks very familiar. I don't. And Stanley was happy. I don't know. And then one day, something mm. very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. This is at the tip he of my tongue. It looks so similar to some other game that I played before. That not one single order had arrived on the monitor mm. for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company mm. had this happened. This complete isolation. Mm. Something was very clearly wrong. Hey Ariel, do you know Shocked, what this game looks like? Solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, <laughs> he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Mm. Mm. This looks so similar to another game. Was it called like the 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 Stan the Steve Parable? No, that, that can't be it. The... Hmm... Hmm... The... The Crocodile Parable? Gone. What could it mean? No, I couldn't Stanley be it. decided to go to the meeting room. Mm. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace mm. of his co-workers. Hmm. Man, I feel like I know where I'm going. I can't take any of the balloons with Stanley us. Stanley felt the bucket calling to him, begging him to pick it up. Where? Why was he not doing it? Oh! <gasps> it's the bucket! It's the bucket! Oh my goodness, it's the bucket! Stanley picked uh, up the bucket. Uh, uh, I found the bucket. Ooh, I feel so much relieved. I feel so relieved right now. So I have the bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his mm. chest and entered the door on his left. 
Mm. Yeah, sure in the bucket. Okay, reassurance bucket tells me to go this way. Isn't that right, reassurance bucket? Still, no one was here. Stanley mm. needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Mm. Oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? Mm. The broom closet. It wants the bucket. <laughs> you can feel that, can't you? The aura of... Oh, wait, no, it wants my bucket! This day, this broom closet believes it deserves the no, bucket. No, it doesn't deserve my bucket! I can really feel it now. <laughs> it's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. No. That's what the no. broom closet is trying to say. No! It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. No! Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. No, I'm not going to give in. I'm never going to hand it over. This is my bucket! It's my bucket! Be. Given it's the mine. pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have you to be stupid strong. broom closet. This is, your this is my bucket. This is your companion and it's lifelong mine. friend. I oh, went to I went to elementary school with this bucket. You can't separate now. us. This is how low the broom closet has sunk that it mm. has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get no. you to hand over the bucket. It's Stand. my bucket. I never liked this broom closet for a variety mm. of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. Mm. And wait. Now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends. What? That your relationship <gasps> is purely superficial and convenient? That what? your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate burn object it. which happened to lay in your path? Jay, you have the right to burn this. Manner. You have the right well, to burn this, this room. Go on, Stanley. Can burn it to the ground, Near I don't care. It. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Okay, okay. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket right. have shared. Broom closet, you are Both dumb and you're poopy and you're smelly your and you're poopy and you're smelly and you're you're empty. You're not even painted. No one even loved you enough to paint you. Like, you don't even get the carpet. Look, you have cardboard. You have cardboard for carpet. Okay, yeah. I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate mm. once and for all. Here we go. There. Now it's settled. No more debate. No more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet. Yeah. Those your meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of it's my, supplies and it's, their relationship to broom it's closets mine. and the natural order of things. It's mine. I have, I have put my stamp on it. It is my bucket. You cannot have a broom closet. You are dumb right. and smelling. I've got a second poopy. sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's mm. appropriate. You see? Yeah. I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. Mm. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, mm. you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Ah, it's a bucket. It's a bucket, so yeah. It's a wide variety of applications. It's my reassurance bucket. You know what? I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your mm. kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us a silent what? treatment. And it's to be giving honest, us a silent. I'm sick of the pettiness oh on display. Oh my goodness! You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been mm. in. I'll Same. see you outside, and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. Mm. Is that it? Is that, is, is that, is that it? Oh. Can, I, can I? Can I leave? I can't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave now. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. There's a collectible! I found one of them. One of the most <gasps> Stanley figurines. Ah, Remember, no one. reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job <laughs> well done. 
I did it. Sort of happiness. <laughs> God knows I've tried. So I implore you to say that so happy I found it. You come across uh, these beautiful figurines. I found it. Okay, okay. Toki toki. For the goal. Exclusive bathroom? <laughs> that was so perfectly timed, baby crab. That was amazing. Um, Another miniature Stanley figurine. A, <laughs> I didn't even it, notice it, there was a spinter, figurine thing. Mini stands, Stanley figs. Um, what about Stanleyines? Hmm. Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanleyine under your belt. Mm. Is it is it rich? Is, to be rich is a crime. To commit crimes, isn't it rich? What a life would it be? To uh, pick just one. Hmm. Extreme bathrooms. Oh, can I flush? I can't flush. Wait. Hello? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley Wait. was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have Four, broken down two, into an five. emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence. Wait, what was the password? Sweet for five. In his two, darkest of eight, hours, did the four. bucket's warmth and guiding light, but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Mm. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Yeah, a bucket. Was the bucket guiding him? In bucket we certainly the most logical bucket we believe. Oh. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines. Mm, we found and another one. one between <laughs> Stan Lorene's and Figlies. Hi, right, baby crab. You have a good night. Name, okay. I asked me. Bye bye. Thank you for coming you by and watching. I hope you really enjoyed it. Go up by one. Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. Um, rock a bye, baby, on a treetop. When the bucket falls, your um existence will stop. Eagle, here's your good night song. The elevator raced <laughs> plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, mm. reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, mm. he would be all right. I am the bucket okay. is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Okay. Wait, Stanley said to the bucket. Can we go back up? Mm. When I was pressing those keypad buttons, there was something very intriguing about the number three. I want mm. to go back so I can try pressing the number three again. Wait, I want to press number three. Bucket said nothing. Hmm. Mm. Taki taki. Taki taki. Here we are, said Stanley. Now I'm going to try out that number three button. Okay. He took the bucket over to the keypad and began absolutely slamming on the number three over and over and over. Well, he said, the mm. number three is such a special button. I'm having the time mm. of my life. Stanley looked expectantly at the bucket, but the bucket mm. remained silent. This was a shock to Stanley, who had always felt such a connection with the bucket. How is this not as exciting to the bucket as it was to him? Well, you just Once don't see it. The bucket's very excited. Three, he got back in the elevator. Yeah. 
You think I'll run out of patience? I won't! I'll keep on pressing this tree. Oh, um. 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 He's, he's not saying anything. Hey, what's going on? You should be annoyed by me. I'm pressing three all over and over again. You should be tired of me. Why is he not saying anything to me? Dumb. What a dummy. What a... What an absolutely poopy head. Poopy head narrator. Perhaps the bucket had missed something. Hmm. Perhaps it had not seen how much joy Stanley got from slamming the number three repeatedly. Hmm. No, 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 said Stanley to the bucket. Mm. You can't go on yet. Not till you understand how much mm. the number three means I to me. I must let, you let and the bucket I know. Three so is together, a great number. I just want you to see what I see. Mm. Feel the happiness I feel. He I feel the, the happy. Bucket, and the bucket said nothing. He has to feel the happy. He's gotta feel the happy. Here we go, said Stanley. This time I'll really show you. He ran to the number three and began to wail on it like a musician on a beloved mm. instrument, weaving a concerto of truth and passion. Bum, bum, he wielded bum, the number bum, three bum, like a fine bum, artist would bum, wield a bum, paintbrush. He told stories bum, through the bum, number three, bum, stories of his dreams and hopes and fears. Number the whole three. Time, number he looked three. His for a reaction number of some three. Kind. Anything number to let him know three. that the bucket appreciated what he was doing. Number three. The bucket conveyed absolutely nothing. Number more. three. Only silence. Crushed number by a wave of dejection, Stanley three. returned to the elevator. Aww. Okay, it's all right, bucket. We can we can learn how to communicate with each other. Stanley and the bucket were so close, they'd always been there for one mm. another. Why suddenly could the bucket not connect with this passion of Stanley's? The question caused Stanley mm. to ruminate the whole way down the elevator. Ruminate? He knew that there must be a way to get through to the bucket, to, to communicate fully with his dear friend. Surely there was a solution, mustn't there be? Mm. It has to be a solution. Again. Ah, said Stanley. Mm. I know what to do. I know how to fully express mm. this feeling in my heart. He decided right then and there that he would hold Love. a press conference. Press conference! Let's go! All matters relating to pressing the number three over Press conference! He would elaborate ducky, ducky. fully on what the number three meant ducky, ducky. and why he felt so ducky, alive ducky. when pressing it. Then the bucket would I just want to show off the bucket to all my minions all around the, the world and just see the world them show how amazing this bucket standard. is. And it would be through the public eye that the bucket would finally understand oh. Stanley's work. Ducky, ducky. For months, he advertised and marketed his mm. press conference, building excitement around it, developing and rehearsing it, until it couldn't be refined mm. a single measure further. When the big day arrived, Stanley was as prepared as he'd ever three, been three, for three, anything three, in three. his life. Three, 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 three. <laughs> this was it. One last chance to win three. the bucket over. One opportunity to share a true connection with a loved one. Okay, okay. Come on, Bucket, it's time to shine. There was no one here. Nobody what? had come to the press conference to hear Stanley what? speak. To listen to him talk about what it really means to press the number three on a keypad over and over. No one? He was unloved. Uninteresting, he huh? was a failure, and in that moment, what? Stanley knew that the bucket would never again take him seriously. But, but there would be no connection, no deeper but? understanding. 
the bucket merely sat there in his arms, indifferent. What? And so it began that slowly, over many years, the two of them grew more and more distant. They spoke less and less, what? neither wishing to state the obvious that any sense of real respect between them had eroded since that day at the press conference. There would be no, no more, more games, games, no more long no more. conversations about passion and pursuit, only a silence that consumed the space between friends. What? And Stanley, having for once in his life discovered the warmth and comfort of true companionship, was cast back into the unremarkable normalcy of loneliness. But the pocket and I, but we have a deep connection. Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. Wait, someone spilled coffee there. Is that new? Hmm? Hmm? Emperor received me. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, and a wave of comfort rushed over mm. him. Uh, so nice to have the bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. I'm kind of, kind of curious what's on the this right was now. not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to mm. him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was mm. this better than the meeting room? Yeah. Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it mm. really was. How Look, it has coffee. The bucket turned out to be. Look at the coffee. It's so cool. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Yeah. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Hmm. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need. But Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of I the got from the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death. That they might I did it was an accident. How deeply touching. I didn't. I didn't mean to. I. I just was gone. curious. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. The confusion on, and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced oh. the bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, mm. but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling Come him on, bucket. that the employee you have places was to go. the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something yeah. up there I need you to do. Okay, okay, what Stanley do I need to do, bucket? question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. What do you mean but buckets Stan can't talk? To think about this obvious fact. He I know plenty of sentient bucket buckets. To him, and he unthinkingly did like, whatever like one of my bestest, bestest minions. His name is Bucket Con Frills. You guys don't see him very much, here, but said the bucket. but he's a big supporter. He's a super big supporter. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick up the phone 
and it will take us back home where we can go about life together. <gasps> we can go to life together, me and the bucket? This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. A sad story? Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. Mm. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. What? Press N. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Mm. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. Well, it's not. It's real. It's really real. This bucket. The bucket can speak, I swear. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? No! I would say something to him, but I don't know this how is, I it's can It's real! I don't know if he'll listen to me. The bucket's real. It's really, really real. Oh, I'll try anyway. Stanley! Can you hear me? What? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. Huh? It can't think, it can't talk. Hmm? All it will ever truly do for you is... I know we have a nice apartment together, don't we? ...from one location to a different location. Hmm. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. Man, Bucket. It'd be a shame if you weren't real. <sighs> you see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. Mm. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me, he trusted and listened to. Now, <laughs> me trust him? No bucket, way. This stupid hunk of metal. It's not stupid. He's a really nice guy if you get to know him. He likes long water walks on the beach. He he likes he likes poetry. He he likes um alternative rock. Um. His favorite show on TV is is a call is a show series called Lost. Um, what else do I know about the bucket? He hates Chinese food. Um, let's see, what else does the bucket? But yeah. When in your life, except for me, of course I won. It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket, this cold, empty bucket. Honey, <laughs> you are bucket. Why are you on my computer? Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine mm. to it. Ah, uh, he's... It's because I, I polished him today. Of course you're real. Of course you're real, bucket. You're... Of course yes, you are. I suppose are. on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Sturdier. More capable of transporting liquid. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water hey, from one sit? room to another. Can I sit on the couch with my bucket? Do I have the same day with me over and over and over? Of course I would, bucket! You're my best friend! Oh God, what am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. Why do oh, I it's feel not so just a bucket. It's my best friend. So much more than just a regular bucket. Even the bucket. management, they can't. Even the management from the other dimension, they can't. They can't destroy the pun that me and the bucket have. He is my friend. Yes, my own, one and only friend. Me and you, bucket. We can go anywhere together. As long as I have you in my life, I'll never be lonely. I'll always have a friend. I don't need anything other than you. Of course, that's how it always should be. 
Of course. Oh no. Of course. I'm, I'm having feelings for the bucket. No, you get away from my bucket! No, 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 you get away from my bucket why right do I now! Have to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps. Get away from that bucket. It's my this bucket. This would be less confusing. Yes. The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. Hmm. Stanley, give me the bucket. No! Give it to me. Give no! me the bucket, Stanley. No! I need it. Give it to me no. now. Give it or I'll... No. Go back to work. Maybe she's okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Warmth spread through Stanley's arms. All With I know is I'm not letting the, the narrator get my bucket because I know he secretly Stanley wants my bucket. Stanley the bucket tightly to his chest hmm. and entered the door on his left. Wait a minute, something isn't... <laughs> Go exhibit. Here by a fireplace. There'll be a reward for... F there will be a reward. Ah. A large room with lots of boxes. Good luck. Okay, okay. Go on, bucket. Wait, there's there's not one in there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Mm. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not oh, an indication of any human life. Um, <laughs> Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley Two, may have broken eight, down into an emotional four, dumpster five? fire, if not, but Stanley... I remembered it! ...by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew... I anything? remembered it! I didn't need help! <laughs> yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Ducky, 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 ducky. Me and the bucket, we're gonna have so much fun together in the mind control chamber. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Huh. The lights rose on an enormous room packed mm. with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket. Man, I still see this this um this um Stanley Parable 2 is very similar to another game. I I I don't I I still can't figure out what it's similar to. The monitors jumped to it's like I know what I'm doing. Dropped the bucket in shock. <laughs> Everyone in the office was being videotaped. Monitored Even the bucket? Olympics. The bucket had no never way. seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into <laughs> No, Bucket, it's okay. Don't we cry, I'm here for you, Bucket. There, there, Bucket. Yeah, it's something like deja vu. Mmm, something like that in the same. Was the bucket under the mind control facility? No, the bucket well? would never be Had under the bucket its been told to do things it didn't wish to do? <gasps> what kinds of things does no. the bucket want to do or not want to do in the first no place? No way. These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. Why, it's okay, bucket. No, he screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept <laughs> it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. never. He squeezed the bucket tighter. Mm. His one friend in the entire world. At this Go point, on, bucket. he could trust no one 
except for the bucket. Come on, Bucky, we gotta, we gotta do this. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Hmm. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley mm. decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he mm. and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way. More high the bucket five. made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Yeah. Okay, Bucket, let's get rid of this, this awful system that shouldn't exist anymore. Stanley and the Bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Is it over? Yes, they had done it. <gasps> Stanley and the Bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Oh, Freedom we was did now it! Mere moments away. <gasps> We're free! The two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to do <sighs> once they stepped through this massive door. The Bucket oh wanted to goodness. learn to roller skate. Stanley <sighs> wanted to squeeze in every country on Earth. Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was what? a simple life they envisioned, but it was oh one goodness. they lived together. With I'm one so another excited, to like it. To trust, to We're gonna be free. What? Well, wait. What was happening? What? Why had the door stopped? Why is the door stopped? Was in the bucket not about to be freed? What? We're not An free? Unbearable silence filled the room. Lingering oh. in uncertainty. And like it's okay. The truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. <gasps> Even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the bucket. No, Needed this is my bucket. No, bucket. you can't take my bucket. Not to part with the bucket. No, 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 no. Stanley can't leave this place. Not while he has such a precious bucket mm. in his arms. Not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized mm. he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. Well, yes, I have the eternally bucket. Eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought mm. to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Mm. Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. A bucket. Oh. Oh, it's so nice to have the bucket. Hello? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Mm -hmm. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wait a minute, something looks different. Welcome to the whiteboard ending. Wait, Bucket, we gotta go to the whiteboard ending. Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. He'd never be alone again, not truly alone. Not with the bucket around. <gasps> Dog mode! I enabled dog mode! <laughs> I got dog. Stanley pressed the bucket upon every little thing. Dog in the mode. Office. Nothing responded to the bucket's touch, but it did little to discourage Stanley's belief. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Be aware of false prophets. A kicking. Dumb broom closet. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Hmm. Oh. 
Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned mm. to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional... Mm. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer mm. luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? The bucket knew. Was the knew. bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical okay. explanation. Wait. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Hmm. But well, what if I want to escape? With my bucket. This passageway had the word escape written on it. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death. No. Not possible. The door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the bucket still had every opportunity to turn nope. around and get back on track. Nope. At this point, Stanley and the bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for nope. each of them. Come on, bucket. We're gonna escape together. Don't worry, bucket. This is just an amusement park raid. We're gonna be fine. As We're gonna be word into motion and standing in the perfectly fine. Closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. To be sure, mm -hmm. it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket. But what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what Stanley thought to himself, and he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. <laughs> no, you think I'm gonna die? Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator. Hi, are they narrated? And That's a lot better than the other narrator. Into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end as it was crushed no, violently. No, the bucket lives forever. Wait. It was a shame. The death Wait, it doesn't say Stanley Parable too. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this mm. one stood above the rest. It was a glorious bucket to behold. Welcome. The bucket welcomes you to the grand exhibit. You are standing at the this per precipice of knowledge. Much like a bucket itself, the human mind is frequently empty within a carnivorous void. But through the use of the exhibit in front of you, the mind will become full and rich and subst substantiated knowledge of the bucket and its history is the, true, is the only true knowledge you really have. Will you take what you learned here? Out with you into the world? You accept it with open mind? What may be challenging about the information in this exhibit? Will you change the lives of yourself and your loved ones as a result of this exhibit? Or will you turn a blind eye and continue to live life as you were in ignorance and darkness? Voice not the bucket. Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim buckets. it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see oh. that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? Ah, oh. the bucket. Which 
What do you want? This little warriors one another for the control of it. Billy inside, but yet in spite of all silver fact fact remains. No one can control a bucket. Oh. <laughs> While we know that a bucket predates the existence of mankind, we do not know how by how long. This cave drawing de depicts early man's discovery of the practical uses of the bucket, by which time the bucket had already likely been around for several millennia. Notice in these drawings how the bucket is allowing itself to be used, having judged humanity worthy of its treasures. Wah. No man can own a bucket, and certainly mm. not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. Mm. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. Mm. The hing symbolizes the, the necessary relationship between bucket and humanity. However, clear our grasp of the bucket, maybe there is yet more that is always out of reach. This distance in infinite in <laughs> Why is there so many big words? <laughs> the small brain not good at reading big words. It's for our own good. Oh. Hello? But there is something we can do, something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible <laughs> wrong. There is? Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Mm. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools mm. and implements if only we let Stanley die together. Yeah, we let him die. Face as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision. All hail the bucket, all hail the bucket. May the bucket demon lord reign supreme. May the buckets take over the world. May the buckets guide, our, guide humanity. May the buckets even guide all of the, the demon pling. I will take the buckets back home with me. I will let the other demons know the, the bucket. Sure if he and how well it should... Now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Bucket. The good old bucket. Just Stanley and the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure together. Hmm. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Wait, I think I forgot something this on the right. not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Okay. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better? No. Because it said that there was, a, there was one of the collectibles in Stanley the... Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Oh. Right. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Wait a minute. What's down here? Wait, I don't think I've been down here before. Ducky ducky. Where's this gonna take us, Bucket? Oh, good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. I wanna go back up, 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 I don't wanna be here, I don't wanna be here, this place is scary, this place is scary, this place is scary, this place is scary. Me up. It's a giant human larva. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. No. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters what? from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans no. want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. 
Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much no. time with it. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. Ah, <laughs> just like the... Oh, right, there was that. That's what the game was. It was called Stanley Parable. That's what this game reminds me of. Oh my goodness. Whee! Aww. Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, Aww. and it played some silly music as well. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Mm. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Mm. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> yes, it's as classic now as it was hey, back that's then. Smooth. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if you want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hello? Wait a minute. Why does this remind me of like TF2 jump maps? And this just reminds me of TF2 jump maps. Oh my goodness, this actually makes me want to like do a sh <laughs> They are? Oh, okay. That makes sense. But yeah, I actually kind of want to do a, like a, a jump map stream. Right, just do jump maps. My goodness, I should put that up vote put that up for a vote for Friday next Friday stream. It's just like a jump map stream. Well, it's been such a long while. We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why whoa, I'm very whoa, proud to whoa, 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 a whoa, brand whoa, new whoa. character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. What? I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, mm. it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? But... Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Sure, no. You don't need me to spell it out for you. What does it do? Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. Let me, let me out. I don't want to say goodbye to the bucket. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. No. I don't know what the Bucket Destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular but personality But I like the bucket! Trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of mm. beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see no, that its desire but I can't to pick it up. is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other no. objects in this game can you even no. say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. No. Okay, the Bucket Destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to no. the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that out. damn bucket. Quickly now. The fans no. are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give no. the fans what they want. Hurry and... Flashbang. Bucket Destroyer, my prized creation. <laughs> you had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you, all of it squandered oh, now. Happy. Goodbye. 
new friend. For the moment in time that bye, you were here, bye. you were magnificent. Bye bye, pocket destroyer. <laughs> Thank you for destroying my retinas. Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. Hmm. Where are we going today, the bucket asked. Stanley just smiled. Anywhere they went together would be perfectly fine. Wait a minute. <gasps> what happens if I... My goodness, I, I'm curious. Doki doki. Doki doki. Doki doki. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Doki telling doki. him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And doki here doki. it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was no. Never mind. Doki the doki. bucket was wrong. Okay, bucket. Stanley took the door on his left. We have to give you up for science, okay? Through the maintenance section and walk straight ahead to the opposite door. Gotta give the bucket up for science, minions. Oh, good, Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I uh, knew you'd doki. find this place eventually. Doki. I don't like any of you. Your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care I about you very baby. much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's let what me in, Let me in, let me in, let me go, let me go, let me go. Jokes. Not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much mm. time with it. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the... Whee! Look at that wacky line. Who knows mm. where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> yes, it's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Don't you get it, I'll Stanley? I'll keep it. We need I hate to do this to you, but... That's why I'm very proud to introduce but... a brand new character. I gotta this do it. is the Bucket Destroyer. I have to do it. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original mm. game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels mm. as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Can you okay. guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Yeah, Surely um, you don't need me to I spell think it out so. for you. It destroys Go ahead buckets. now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. How do I give it I up? I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. How? That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear what? you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved what? Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, Bucky, go in the, go in there. Crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really Bucky. like ten personality traits. Bucky. What other object in this game can you even say that about? Bucky, it, go in. Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Bucky. Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the bucket destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have oh. to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Quickly Come now, on, the fans it. are waiting. Do it, the fans, bucket. Stanley. Give the fans bucket, what they want. Bucket, please. No. <laughs> the bucket. <sighs> What am I 
let me give it up. My prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do mm. such marvelous things with you. We were. Spellbinding stories about you, all of it squandered it's now. It's all gone. Goodbye, new friend. Goodbye. For the moment in time that you were here, boy. you were magnificent. Mm. Without the bucket? All of the I co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hmm. Which computer is it this time? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Wait. Where's the computer with the with the input thing? I don't see it. Hello? Wait, what, what, what? <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, what? he entered the door on his left. What? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge mm -hmm. first, just to admire it. The lounge was grand, majestic. Perhaps too, but eager. Wait, to get did back I break it? Stanley took the first open door on his left, and so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Wait, what's it down here without the bucket? But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go um. Uh, well, uh, da, 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 da. from here it's um left. I go right. Okay. Oh no, no, it's to the right. My mistake. Okay. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? Mm. What was I thinking? It's clearly. Let me out, narrator. Okay, hold on for a minute. Stop. Please. Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep. Okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story okay. is absolutely, definitely this way. Okay. Oh. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Closing okay. my eyes. We just have to get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all Closing my eyes. Now. The whole story completely unusable. How oh. about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this but. time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? What? Okay. From the top. What? No. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. We know did I break it? Where's the bucket? When Stanley Wait, wait, what? No, I, no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything mm. should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, mm. 
Did you change anything when we were back in that room with no. the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... No. Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. Mm. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Let's see. Ducky, ducky. Ducky, ducky. Ducky, ducky. That one's that one. That one's that one. I want to go this way. Hello? Story? <gasps> Wait, is this a maze? I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely oh. that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Hmm. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Wait! <laughs> no! All of his co-workers were gone. What hmm. could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh? Um. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. Mm. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go okay. back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Okay, okay. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. What's on here? Here it comes. No, wait, never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way mm. and retrace our steps. Wait a minute. Oh! Wait, where are we? Now this... Hello? Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... Is that correct? Hmm. Mm. Do you remember, Stanley? Or do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! <gasps> Congratulations! I got the winning and... I know you put in a lot of hard work. I did it! I won! <laughs> Let's job. go, minions! I did it! I won! <laughs> no. Let's go! I won the video game! For that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. What? I won but fair and square. I'm being weirded out by whatever <laughs> this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. All right, I've got a solution. Mm. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. Mm. How simple is that? Okay, okay. Okay. Oh? No, no, I'm done. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. Oh, okay, okay. We'll leave it up to the line. Leave in the line. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our mm. destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Mm. Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation mm. of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. Mm. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Oh, music! Bum, 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 bum. It's a lie. Oh. Oh. 
That fern, Stanley. This oh. fern will be very important later okay, okay. in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You okay. won't want to miss anything. Okay, okay, okay. So the fern. So technically, it's it's two ferns plus some grass that's growing out of it to make it look more. The torture dance. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No. Wait. No, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Hmm. Is any of this ringing a bell? Hello? Hello? Oh, no, 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 hmm. no, not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after hmm. everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. What? Why are you restarting? You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? Hmm. We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mm. mysterious. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Hmm. Skate, I don't know where the bucket is. The bucket kind of just disappeared on me. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just mm. me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. I don't know. You it kind of just left. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. I don't know. I'm I'm lonely without oh, the bucket. No, not you again, Stanley. I'd also like to veto the line from having mm. any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge These it. These are robots. It should be fine. Ignoring the line. Line is dumb. Bye bye, Lang. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, huh. the story is in our control. Okay, How important okay. we mustn't squander the opportunity. Mm. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. okay, okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to circles. go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means circle. that our destination corresponds oh, with that reverse, reverse door's origin. So starting reverse from circle. the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? Mm. And since the answer is clearly yes, then by mm. all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Okay, Another okay. victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. I can't care. What? Confusion ending? Oh, hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? 
It's all one giant ending. And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? What? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? Uh, what? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? What? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Rang it? Really... No, it can't be. I, d I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want no. it to get what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. Yeah, I just let me out. Do it. And the timer to stopped. Mm. Does that mean? Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? We ended the eight of this eight. Whatever it is that we just <gasps> wait a minute. How would we even know? <gasps> Here will you come for us. Will something happen? The endless uh -oh. eight. Ariel, okay. it makes sense. It makes sense. The endless <laughs> eight. Now we just wait. You the know, endless eight. They know. In some way that this is a kind of they, story. They Wouldn't got it. Agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are mm. right now. We'll find out, won't we? We end the endless end. eight. Well, in the meantime, if you. Oh. Hello? Hello. This is a recorded message scheduled mm. either by you or a person in your place mm. of work. The purpose of this message is to warn you about the dangers of recorded messages. Mm. If at any time you believe you are listening to a recorded message, please terminate it immediately and cease all flow of information from the recorded message into your perceptual sphere. Mm. Thank you, and have a pleasant day. Okay. Oh, hi, Bucket. I found the Bucket. Oh. A good Bucket. A strong bucket, a humble bucket, a committed bucket, a bucket of culture and distinction. <clears throat> Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Wait, I didn't go check. No, I didn't check. Huh. What are you like? <laughs> mm. <laughs> assim I still haven't found all of them. A large room with locks, lots of boxes. Somewhere, somewhere both red and blue. Hmm. A room with lots of boxes. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's mm. office. Wait, I haven't been downstairs with the bucket yet. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting mm. he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive mm. economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. Mm. And then, something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Mm. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. The bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. Mm. Isn't that strange, Stanley thought? Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom mm. for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close 
yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. Wait. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. How did what? I end up with someone else's bucket? This is Wait all a minute, but this wrong. is my Surely bucket. no good would come from this. Who knows what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might what? experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. Where's my bucket? Give me my bucket back. Give me my bucket back. The balloons were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. What? And now he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh, gracious. He exclaimed, without my bucket, I've gone uh, truly mad. Where uh, is it? I must find where's it. Where's my bucket? Far where's my bucket? Far off in the now, he heard it calling to him. Bucket, Stanley, I'm coming for you. Stanley, it's me, the bucket. Could it truly be? He rushed forward from room uh, to room, passing by one bucket after the next. None of them were his. None of them were his what? special bucket. Come to uh, me, Stanley. Uh, find me. Uh, he had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way Where to truly restore his sanity. And then the bucket! He froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. What? It was incredibly painful. No! Stanley doubled over no. his neck and blacked out. No! The bucket! It's real! This is the, the story bucket. Of a woman it's real. Mary Gonna Mary get much higher. She arose, got dressed, picked <laughs> up her bucket of comfort and security, and walked to her place of work. <laughs> but on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, Come and then found the <laughs> right away, she the bucket is real. Can't get much higher. Higher so high. Raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be, Mariella thought. And she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, mm. in which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself, my life kicks ass. <laughs> and she backflipped all the way to work. <gasps> She backflipped all the way to work? What's a, what an amazing way of going to work while carrying a bucket. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah. Wait, but I did send it to my no real time. How hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. Ah, hey, Bucket. The embrace of an old friend, a weathered companionship that stands the test of time. Hmm? Where's, the, where's the other computer at? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door mm. on his left. A room with a bunch of boxes. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Ah, I found it. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer mm. luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket ducky, ducky. guiding him? Ducky, ducky. Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. It's not in here. A room that is red and blue. Donkey, donkey. 
Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Can't be that Mind one. Control Facility. Mm. The lights rose on an enormous room packed mm. with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. Mm. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Mm. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. Mm. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears. As yes, Stanley fine, bucket, we got Stanley, this. Reassuring it that everything would be fine. Mm. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? Mm. What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's mm. feeble mind. Hey, let's go, bucket. No! He screamed we gotta go the take over the mind control facility. His own life in some We're gonna be the ones in control of it. He squeezed the bucket tighter, mm. his one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. Come on, bucket. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy mm. or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. You know, the cold reality of his past began to sink in. Stanley decided you know that what? this mind control isn't that would bad. never again exert its terrible power over another human. Minions, what if you were Not mind controlled right now and you didn't know it? Dismantle the controls for good. Two How would you feel friends, about it? Stanley and the bucket up against the world. But at the last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on mm. the controls. Mm. Stanley gasped in mm. horror. Had this been the bucket's plan all along? Mm. To take over the machine and mm. claim the power for itself? How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust mm. when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. What? Birds. Silly, silly birds. Silly birds. Look at the, the silly birds. The buttons became active again. Silly birds. Silly birds. <laughs> look at the silly Stanley birds. Through one video of silly birds after another. <gasps> oh, look at the pinkies! This wasn't a look mind at the control pinkies. facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds. Oh, look at the silly the pinkies! The mind control pinkies. was only a facade <laughs> to disguise its true intentions. Had the bucket known this all along? Oh, Stanley get the marveled pinkies. at the metal genius in his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Oh, it's an emu! Stanley and the Bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place. Oh, look at the two hummingbirds! Of the silliest birds I Hi, hummingbirds! Oh, oh, be careful, you don't want to fall! This one was surely oh. the best. Wait, I don't know Stanley what those birds are. Was happy. I've never seen those birds before. Wait, no, I didn't get done looking through the... I didn't get... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Mm. The bucket made Stanley want to be a better man and a better co-worker. In mm. time, perhaps, he would become both of those things. Ducky, ducky. So we need to go a room with a bunch of... His chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley mm. had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here mm. it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this... No, never mind. Mm. Bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. A place with a lot of bike. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go.
go there. Go to the cargo lift. How do I get over there? No. Oh. Oh. I figured it out. You're getting close now. Why? Oh, I really just need one more. <laughs> Very soon, you'll collect the last one. And then the first number will equal the second number. And oh. that will be We'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that mm. we used to have none of them. And now we have My them all. Goodness. You can't so go back close. to when you had no Figler and Lorenes. None of us can. Hello? Where am I? Hello, I've never been here before. Hello? Day number 295, date number... I don't even know. I've lost track. Well, well that's funny, you said you lost track. <laughs> and it's a cassette track. The longer <laughs> I study this bucket, the less sense anything uh -huh. makes. The sheer yeah, but I'm done. Warrior, I Wait, I need to add. I need to add that. The, 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 the. Up. No matter how many times I've done it, it's always it's the same. same feeling. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. Oh. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. There's no but, explanation for but, it. Feels... Haven't figured out why I see the world mm. so differently when this bucket, bucket. is in my arms. Why everything, everything feels so. Oh. What do I do with this treasure? Treasure. I, can... I love treasure. I can monetize it. Monetize the bucket. Thinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. <gasps> this is my golden ticket. But I have to be careful because as soon okay. as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get. Wait, no! What's that? Who's there? Gamparata. Wait, who's that? Nani? <gasps> what happened? Wait, what, wait, what, heaven? Heaven? Hello, welcome? There's so many buttons! My goodness. Oh my goodness, there's so much buttons. Uh, 
pressed so many buttons. There's so many buttons to press, but I don't. I can't press all of them. How do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? Have to restart. <sighs> begin the game again. Okay, okay. So don't press that again. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. Okay. He never functioned well by himself, and constantly... Not everyone is so lucky to have a bucket, but Stanley is a very lucky fellow. Mm. Very lucky indeed. So... Stanley clutched the bucket tightly... So Ariel, where's the... Entered the door on his left. Mm. Blue and red room. What's a blue and red room? Mm. Somewhere both blue and red. Yeah? Yeah, Skate, what's up? <laughs> um. to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Wait, I need to go alone? Wait. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the oh. meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hmm. I can. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps hmm. he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. Okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley mm. was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, Wait. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I can jump onto the catwalk? <gasps> I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've... What? Really? What? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Mm. Are you that convinced that I want something oh my bad goodness, to happen you? My goodness, you can go this way? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. <sighs> Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a Ducky, chance. Ducky. Now listen carefully, this is important. <gasps> Stanley walked <gasps> through the red door. And there it is. The last Stiggly Wiggly. I did it! Oh, Stanley, this is a real accomplishment. I did it, this I did all the collectibles. Just for the sake of doing it. 
Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've I did it. a job well done is its own reward. Mm. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that uh, would be like a reward, and we can't have that. Oh. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all nice. done here. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Mm. Should I take the red or the blue pill? I'm more in favor of the red pill. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that mm. I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. Bang, 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 bang. If we just stopped. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. Here, yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just what stay is it? right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. Ah. I actually feel happy. <laughs> happy. I get all the particle effects. So beautiful. Hmm. Oh. The donut. No, wait. Where are you going? Hmm. Oh no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose. Wait, all what do you mean this. I'm gonna hurt myself? Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. Oh, wait. I can do a sick kickflip? Alright, alright, are you guys ready for the most sickest 360 of your life? Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. No! Oh, oh, thank God you lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, mm -hmm. can we please get back to the other room? Oh, yeah. It's because I did a six, a six, three, a six, three, there. six. See, this is what you want. This mm. is where we can both be happy. We happy. Really can. If we stop moving. We just ah. have to stop moving. I'm so happy. It's so nice and pretty. Wow. Okay, enough of the happy. Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come nope. from this. No, 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 what are you doing, Stan? Do you just not believe me? <laughs> what can I say to convince you? Time to do another six, 360. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? Yeah, I can do that for you. Yes, perhaps you can. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. I know you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, mm. can't you? Oh, I'm leaving the place. No, perhaps not. Mm. Time to do another six, 
360. My god, is this really how much you dislike my game? Yeah. That you'll throw yourself from this platform over yeah. and over to be rid of it? Yeah. You're literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Of course I, I would. The situation correctly. Don't think you're special or anything. Yeah. Well, maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. You, you keep on yelling at me and making fun wrong. of me. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Mm. Well, this one is yours. Another six, three sixty. Is it over? Oh it's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Bye bye. Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have what? to put a pause on things. It's just, what? it's those figurines, those figlets. What? I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Mm -hmm. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it mm -hmm. fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yeah, I'm so happy. Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines. Just one more time. Okay. Remember, you wait in time. Come on, grab your your minions to the very end with with Bao the demon and um skate the human. Fun will never end. Okay. Ah, here's where it all began. Mm. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, mm. it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. Mm. I got another collectible. And here was a second Stanlerine. I'll be mm. honest, back then I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue mm. to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. Huh. Okay, think? let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? Wait, what if I go on the wrong one? Hey, that's exactly right. It was here in the boss's bathroom. Back, 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 back. And then after that, you had three of them. Mm. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After mm. all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. Mm. Let's see, what came next? Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh, well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but what? it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. Wait, I don't remember this place. What? Hello? Oh? Okay. This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was mm. in the warehouse. I remember it so clearly. Mm. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the <gasps> occasion. Enjoy. A cookie. Whoa! <laughs> What's that back there? This means day number five. <laughs> he made it in Movie Maker. That's I know. <laughs> mm. 
great than... <laughs> Takes you back, doesn't it? I spent mm. a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent anything <laughs> else. <laughs> Man, the fact that he made that in, in um in eight minutes is pretty impressive. And then Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Mm. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes. Yeah, it was all of them. them. They're all <laughs> Yeah. It was a moment unlike any other. It was so amazing. Except for the other moments. I was so happy. Things, which it was exactly like. Um. And then there was no more. Because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing mm. left to do but move forward into the future. <gasps> it's his friend. Uh, no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop oh. the loading screen. Isn't there okay, some way okay. we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just mm. go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. Okay, okay. See how that feels. Hmm. Okay, yes, the room with the red and blue doors. I remember mm. this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep mm. going, I want more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we mm. watched? It was nice. <laughs> yes. I love that video. I like that video too. It's so amazing. Oh. Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Mm. Still no memory of this one. Good room though. A solid yeah. room. It's a very nice room. Ducky ducky. These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it mm. really would have neutered the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted. Sometimes just here. collecting them and hearing the sound that happens whenever you collect things is a reward of itself. This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember mm. it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. Akak, akak. This is it. The it's very, very first one, one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you uh. to the figurines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. Mm. What else is there? What came before this? Mm. Collectibles. Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. Mm. I remember hating it back then. But time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, mm. I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Look how much fun the past is. I want mm. more. More memories. Oh, I okay. can Go down my memories. Mr. Narrator. Oh, yes, the two doors. Who could have mm. forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. Yeah. And before everything else, there was your office. And Bikey. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? There's something mm. I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Mm. Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then I was... I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy. And I came up with... Well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make what? the decisions. He would decide which way to go. 
I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Mm. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. Wait, and Stanley I'm imaginative? Really a wonderful companion, even if he ah. was a fiction. But ah, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, mm. I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. Okay, okay. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. He does with. look so much you fun. Know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. Okay, I okay. I enjoy telling his story so very much. Okay, here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Mm. Wait, so one more fun. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It takes a lot of humility to carry a bucket so magnificent. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly mm. to his chest and entered the door on his left. Well, what happens if we go in here? Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps we boot the game entirely? Was where he'd find answers. Oh, I can't. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. <laughs> I am all excited. The manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed Never mind. Oh, yeah. Someone okay, okay. was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch. Stanley cradled the bucket in a gentle embrace. Protective, yet delicate. Assertive, yet compassionate. Mm. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Mm. Still no one was okay, here. Okay. Stan Stanley needed Wait. the bucket's warmth and comfort. Okay, okay. Now more than ever. What the fuck? Taki taki. Taki taki. Oh. Uh. Mm. Mm. Hang on. What? So can I yell wood? Sitting clock. I put it up the game. Well, don't take the the that that step seriously. They just leave the clock set at what I would call it there. The time to set the clock, and I appreciate that. Oh, you're welcome. You care about the experience, paying attention. I mean, knowing if that's a correct time you're setting is are correct. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Since you're being so cooperative, the next time you put up the game, see the screen? Just set the clock to your favorite time. Go ahead, pick whatever time you want. If it's not correct time, you've earned it. I know. Why don't you go back to the video game now? Aki aki. Sailing Parable 2. We 
in the game. I got an achievement. All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Come on, Bucket. Let's go to the meeting room. Bucket, the only co-worker he would mm. ever truly need. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Mm. Still, no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's ah. warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Mm. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Mm. Mm. Stepping in. Mm. Uh -huh. Get out of here. We're getting out of here, Bucket. Just you and me. Bunny, we're gonna get out of here. No more listening to the narrator. No more listening to him dribble on. We're gonna be free. Free of this torture. Free, I say. Free. We just have to keep on climbing all these stairs. And we'll be free. Don't you worry, Bucket. We're gonna be free here soon. It isn't on anymore. A ski pod? <gasps> Go on a ski pod. Let's get out of here. Freedom! <gasps> no! No, it's only big enough for one! No! It's only big enough for one! No! Is there a bucket? Simply missed a memo. The bucket's free. He's finally free. 
Now that's all left is for me to become free. I'm just gonna do it again, when Stanley and I'll be free. Set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping in. Uh huh. Then to be free. We're going to be free. Now it's our turn to be free. We got the bucket to be free. Now we can be free. Hmm. I'm gonna find your bucket wherever you are in that big open world out there. I'll reunite with you. And then we can work together like we always did. Just the two of us. Without the narrator guiding us. We don't need him anymore. Just the two of us. We can be free. That's fine. I don't care if the world's destroyed, but as long as me and the bucket can live on by herself. Don't worry, bucket. I'm coming for you, buddy. I'm coming for you. We're gonna be fine. Just the two of us. Come on, Bucket. I'm coming for you, buddy. I'm coming for you. Let's keep pot. Coming for you. What? What? Where's the skate pod? No, I can't. <laughs> no, there's no escape. No. <laughs> All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Mm. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Replacement bucket? But it's not my bucket. It's not my bucket. It's not my bucket. Ariel and Skate, I have a question. Does this game have an end? I, I feel like I've gotten most of the endings. There is no end. <laughs> no, does that mean I'm stuck streaming this for the rest of my of my existence? And try not to lose this one too, you dolt. What? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest hmm. and entered the door on his left. Was this one too? Still no one was here. Okay. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was coming to a staircase. 
Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Stepping in. Time to send this, free this bucket too. We have to free all of the buckets. We all must be free. We must free all the buckets. It's time to stop. <laughs> you might be right. It might be time to stop. Because I am getting pretty hungry. And I have been going on for five hours. <laughs> as soon as I free this bucket, we'll call an end. Which we just gotta free this bucket. Bucket, we're gonna free you, okay, buddy? You're gonna be out of here. Just believe in me. Oh my goodness, you guys can see a lot more than I can. Alright, Bucket. You're free, buddy. You're free. Come on, buddy, get in the get in the in the capsule. In the pod. Alright, you're free now, buddy. Be free, find the other bucket. And may you two buckets get along together and have a great life together. Goodbye, bucket number two. You'll be missed. I right, minions. That was super fun. I love that game. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ayo, for buying it me for my birthday. <laughs> I had so much fun with it. <laughs> it was great. Um, let's see. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, tomorrow's Monday. So Monday, where me and little brother are going to try to do um, um, it takes two, and see if that works better than all the other ones have. I feel, have a great feeling that it's going to work out great this thing. Yeah, it's going to be great fun. Hey, right, let's see. Let's see, who can I pick? Is that Gary? Oh my goodness, Gary. Gary needs our help right now. He's playing Team Fight Tactics. Yeah. Time to everyone. Everyone, give him the funny. Just spam the um funny emote. The, the, the this one, that one. 
you just, just dial one and let him know that we're watching him. <laughs> okay, minions. Once you meet with a yeah. All right, minions, I'll see you later. Bye-bye, minions. Thank you so much for coming by and watching me. I am I had so much fun. I love you all. Bye-bye. Enchi rating. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. You guys are so nice today. And I know today's a bit of a boring thing. We're trying something new today, but you know what? Uh -oh. Thank you anyway. Mount Tenshi, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Ario, hi, hi, hi. Coming from Mount Tenshi stream. I see what's up. Hmm. Okay, Aurelian Soul's good. Syndra's good. Syndra's great. Oh my god, we're actually using crap mm -hmm. after all this time. Okay, so we found our fifth unit. Um, our eighth unit. That's pretty high. So, uh, Syndra's good because I can just get a bunch of units on the board, and Aurelian Soul and Galio can stall long enough for sure. Okay, that's pretty great. Okay, there's a two star Aurelian Soul. Oh my god, it's all working out. Uh, wow, these are terrible. Um, I don't even know. BF Sword? Okay, Syndra's going on instead of the Yumi. Yumi's getting sold. Um, we need stuff to put out there. So Echo, Zack, just double Zack. Oh no, he does the. Okay, sure. Okay, what do we start with here? Infinity Edge. Keep the Crit Glove, I guess. Sphere of Sojin, and then we'll keep the last one for a Crit Glove going into a staff or something. Z Rot Portal can go on this. Guy. No holy. <laughs> Staff, everyone, go! Get him, Aurelian Soul. Nab him. Whoop ass. Yeah, get him. We're winning the war. Oh, ho, ho. And there he is. Hi, oh, honey. honey. Uh -huh. Hello, honey. Uh, like, did you like it whenever I called you randomly? All right, we gotta talk now, boys. <laughs> Yahoo, it sounds like he didn't. Um, Hell yeah, my helmet changes my color. Thank you for the follow, Slinky. Sorry if anybody uh. followed. I'm totally missing all the alerts. I am so sorry. Wow. Hi everyone. Hello, hello. How I you thought doing? I was following you. It's okay, Slinky. Yeah. I don't hate. I appreciate. How you doing? Building, I forgot about you. I'm doing okay. good. I'm a, I'm super super hungry. Okay, so I think the plan is. Then look at you, dude. Glad he responded to you. Just for the Aurelian soul. I, well, everyone responds to me. I'm obnoxious. Try to get more. Look like a nagging feeling in the back of your head. You really can't I, ignore it. Um, <laughs> oh, you can ignore that one. Sorry, honey, continue. Continue what? You, you were trying to say something. I'm I'm super hungry. I don't even know what I'm doing. Go get food. Oh yeah, Justin. Um, there's this little pizza joint near me. Uh, it's called Infinitus, and it's, you know, a tiny little, yeah, it's a little tiny cute joint. I recommend it. Uh, okay, how was, how was the price, though? Uh, for two pizzas, like, for two people, 24 bucks. Oh, uh, I think they do. Yeah, I'll see I'll see him, but... Hey, so, did you get your, your new place? Beander. Are you a sexy Beander? Still in? I don't know why that video is the fucking best. Uh, what quest? Really? Uh, did you get your new place? Oh, yeah. Hey, it's all moved in. I'll sit. Alrighty. Good thing I have a phone. Time to look up Infinitus. Hi, cat. Hello. And then he bites. Mm. He bites.
I do okay. have to say though, Justin, I do like the how the village is turning out so far. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah. Once it uh it just sucks. I hate I hate I love mine colonies, but I hate the beginning stages of it. Cause it takes so long. Sorry, can we just take a second to appreciate that the military artillery strikes you? There's a fort like, near you. What the Yeah, well, fuck? we were doing some uh, shenanigans right outside of a fort. Are you a terrorist? Right. Yes. Yes, actually. <laughs> Think it's all I got. Get out of here. Yeah. Let's see if we can lose him. Okay, I guess he did it in my head. Oh, yeah, Mike. Did you check in on Minion Chatter? Uh, no, not fully. Uh, baby crab asks you something. Baby shark do 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 do. Yeah, I haven't uh checked that out just yet. If you want me to? I will check that out. Let me see. Uh, only for five ninety nine with shipping handling. Yeah. Oh yeah, Justin, I sent you uh, the link and whatnot for the website. Nice, I'll look at that here in a minute. Yeah. I think we talked about it. <laughs> do you want to already be all of it? <laughs> 